hacking my server, I guess. I guess I'll wait a second for like people to go ahead and like start watching <laughs> cause like I don't want to start streaming or start reading it without people who actually care about being here. <laughs> Okay, and like also this is the Steam version, so don't expect anything too nuts, really. So what is with my bit rate? Usually it's like 5,000 right now, I think it's 4,000. Uh, should be fine still, but I don't know. Just double checking. like 45 up so that should be fine I think. Alright. I guess I'll go ahead and start reading it because I think probably anybody who cares about listening is probably already here. Uh, also if this is like too loud just let me know because I turned it to like I think 80% uh, master volume. What's this? This is a sky full of stars. It's a visual novel that one of my friends gifted me like a long time ago. It's one of the, like, SFW ones, so I haven't read it, like, on my own yet. Because I was like, oh shit, I thought that it was, like, the full version. But, nope. So I'm gonna stream it. Because apparently, like, I was getting flamed to do another VM stream. So, here we are. Okay, and I guess I have to read it out. <laughs> it's so awkward. But, yeah. I mean, it, it gets, like, less awkward as you, like, keep reading. But, at first, it's kind of weird, I guess. Yeah, this is a keto. Oh shit. <laughs> this is so loud. Are y'all okay? Should I like I should probably turn it down some, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, that was really annoying. <laughs> Akito, look outside. Look. This is also from like the same people who did um I think it's If My Heart Had Wings. So if y'all like that one then this one should probably be fine too. Rubbing the sleep from my eyes, I opened the foggy window, and when the cold breeze blew in and touched my face, it sent a chill down my spine. Sorry, I was just checking something. <laughs> You've never read, played, or watched a VN before, really? What in the... I actually have read a lot of them, <laughs> like, in my past. I mean, I still read them sometimes, like even to this day, but wow, that's actually really nuts. I mean, do you know like anything about them? They're usually like romantic stories, I guess, but I don't know. I just think they're like interesting. But when I saw the stars twinkling outside, I snapped wide awake. <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> okay, so basically it's like supposed to be kind of like a regular book. Yeah, they're pretty common, like especially in like Japan. You've never <laughs> heard anything about them. Okay, that's actually really nuts. So like, a lot of anime are like visual novel adaptations, like, you know, like Fate Zero, Fate Stay Night, like, oh hey, what's up, John? Yeah, we're live again. <laughs> yeah, those are actually adaptations of uh, Fate Stay Night, the visual novel. So, like, I don't know, basically what it is, is it's like, hmm? No, none of those, I don't watch anime. Okay, okay, so I tried to explain it. Like, I guess you can see, you have like your dialogue and stuff, and then there's usually someone like, voice acting like voice acting it i guess and you just read it and like you know you hear the stuff and you could like see things you know why it's a visual novel 
So it's basically like a picture book for adults, but the cool thing is that unless it's a kinetic visual novel, you usually get to like choose or like make decisions in the visual novel and that like determines what ending you're gonna get. So like in romantic visual novels, usually it's like you make certain decisions that will lead you to a route that will like get you a certain girl or whatever, or if you make bad decisions then you get nobody and you get a bad ending. So yeah, that's basically what it is, if that makes sense. Watching anime in 2019. <laughs> Where are you going at this time of night? Well, Hikari and I learned. Or wait, wait, Hikari. Well, Hikari and I and what the fuck? It's like those shitty dating sims, but anime version. Yeah, it's literally a dating sim. That's actually what it is. Like this is a dating sim, except they're not like shitty. They're usually pretty good. Some of them are shitty, but yeah, this one's supposed to be like okay, actually. I've actually- I haven't played too many visual novels that I, like, actively dislike. I don't know. See you later. But, yeah. I rushed off, pedaling my bike with all my strength, and found Hikari waiting in the usual bridge. She was running around in circles like a dog chasing its own tail. I'm intrigued, let's go! I'm actually so surprised that you've never ever played one of these before. <laughs> It's so good. The last one was legit. I- oh my god. I want to finish it on stream, but it's like so long that it's gonna take forever. But like with something like this, I think that I can finish it probably in like one stream. Like if I stream this for like seven or eight hours, we would definitely be able to finish it. It is freezing. As she yelled, her breath came out in clouds of white. Where's Saya? She's still not here. If we don't hurry, the sun will come up on us. I got worried and looked to the eastern sky, but it was still so dark I never would have known it was almost dawn if she hadn't said so. Okay, there she is. Hey. Oh, I think this is the girl who was like my avatar like a while ago. The one with the heterochromia. You're late, Saya. Yeah, that's her. She's so cute. I'm sorry. Huff, huff. Hop on. Okay. I think this is one of their kids, though, so this is not like a... Not like a lolly game or anything. <laughs> we put our stuff in the basket and Saya climbed onto the cargo rack. Then Hikari climbed on as well, holding onto Saya from behind. Scoot up some more. I can't breathe. Hikari squeezed Saya even closer to me, even though she was already pressed to the my back. You got the best seat. Aren't you all warm there? Yeah. Okay then, let's hurry, Akito. Wait, what? Let's saw it. Wait, what? Oh, he wants cat instead of a cat with heterochromia. I actually have heterochromia, but like you can not, you can't really tell. Because one of my eyes is like black and then the other one's brown, so it's like basically the same color anyway. But I like, like you can see it if you're, if you're like looking at my face, I guess. Like up close. I put my feet on the pedals and guided my bike across the bridge onto the dark mountain road. Dark mountain road beyond. Close up, yeah. Like, I could take a picture of it, I guess, and you would be able to see it, but, like, from this far away, I don't think you can tell anything, really. Because, like, it's basically the same color. <laughs> we suddenly picked up speed and went flying through the wind. Wow, oh, my face hurts. The wind was so frigid on our faces. It was more cold. It was more than cold, it was painful. Saya, press your face into my back. Okay. With the weight of three people, the bike was too heavy to keep climbing the hill with its rough, broken asphalt. As the slope got steeper, I lost more and more power. Hikari, help me out. Leave it to me. As we slowed down, Hikari jumped off the, uh, jumped off the back, grabbed the cargo rack, and started pushing. Saya, hold on tight. And also, I'm obviously not pronouncing these, <laughs> like, actual Japanese names, so don't blame me. It would probably be more cringe if I pronounced them, like, correctly or whatever. And it probably wouldn't come out correct anyway. <laughs> With a burst of added speed, our bike left the mountain road and passed through an overgrown meadow, heading into the middle of the forest. When the trail finally became too much for the bike, we threw it aside and set out on foot. And soon the forest gave way to... Hikari... I don't know how else to say it. 
I mean, that's how you would say it, I think? Japanese is pretty easy to pronounce. I mean, I guess, but I don't want to, like, go, like, full weeb mode. <laughs> a large black silhouette resting quietly in the dark as if it were a sleeping beast. It was a train car. Also, these, like, move pretty slowly, so these are, like... I don't know. Don't get like too excited. It's just like a chill experience, I guess. We were at a train station clinging to the mountain slope. It felt deserted, but not only because it was so early. No one used the station anymore. It was totally abandoned. Hickory climbed onto the roof of the decommissioned train car standing at the platform. First. Wait a minute. So I finally made it out of the forest trail and approached the platform. Come on, take my hand. Thank you. I gave Saya a hand since she couldn't climb up on her own. Watch where you step. Oh, what choice did you make? <laughs> I haven't made any choices so far. This is like the... I guess it's like the... The intro or whatever. So there hasn't been any like important decisions yet. Usually those don't like start coming up until later on, like probably about halfway through. Hikari grabbed Seiya's hand from above as she lost her footing almost immediately. Oh yeah, no, there's, um, there haven't been any, like, choices made yet. Yeah. Yeah, see, there's, like, none. With our help, Seiya finally climbed onto the roof and I followed after. What do you think, Hikari? There you go. I tried to pronounce it better. Hmm. While she waited for me to climb up, Hikari scanned the horizon. From up there, our field of view was wide open and we could see all the way to the distant sea. Thank you. <laughs> However, to the naked eye, the sky was still as dark as midnight. It was hard to make out the sea from the sky. Even so, the sky was clear and countless. Tiny points of light twinkled above. Hikari was searching for the morning star among them. Also, I actually, like, don't know what this is about, really. Like, I don't know. It's obviously, like, going in blind. Like, I've wanted to play this for a while, but I never really got around to it. So, yep, here we are. Could it be that one, maybe? Which one? That one, right there. Right next to the moon. In the eastern sky, just above the horizon, the crescent moon drew its slender arc. Just next to it, shining with a light unmatched by the sky's only fixed star, Sirius, was a single bright point. We spread out our equipment and quickly started getting ready. Hurry, the sun's starting to come up. Don't rush us. We set up the tripod on the stand. Next, with practice hands, we assembled the telescope. It wasn't difficult. When we finished, I pointed the telescope at the, sc at the star we had just looked at and looked through the finder scope. I centered it on that shining hev heavenly body. These kids are really into this kind of thing, I guess. Then I looked through the eyepiece. However, I didn't see the object in my field of vision. It was because the finder scope, finder scope's optical axis wasn't aligned. I would, ha I would just have to rely on my own senses to hone in on the heavenly body. Now we get the... what is this? I don't think I've been read to since I was like seven. This feels weirdly comforting. Let's go! That's why this is the and chill stream. I did this one time and everyone was like blaming me to do it again and I was like, okay, cool. Because I thought it would be like boring or something. But, I don't know. I guess it's, like, good to do it at this time of night when people are, like, trying to sleep or whatever. It's waiting. There it is. Venus. Where? Show me. Hold on. I changed out the lens to increase the magnification and adjusted the focus. The blurry figure of Venus leaped into clarity. That's definitely Venus. And it's waning. It's so bright. Let me see. Oh, hush. Here you go. Whoa, it's beautiful. I've been waiting to meet you, my lady Venus. Hey, I want to see too. So wholesome. 
<laughs> Just hold on and wait your turn. Hey, no hair hickory. Oh, got an achievement. Let's go. I think achievements and VNs are so funny because like you literally just get them for doing absolutely nothing like you could just hold control for like the whole thing which like skips all the dialogue and you would still get them <laughs> after we took turns looking through the telescope I opened our notebook and handed it to Saya such a skilled gamer <laughs> yep uh, pro VN gamer while Hikari held the flashlight for her Saya drew a sketch of Venus in star observation you don't just stop after viewing one an object once. You have to know how the object moves, how it looks, how it changes or doesn't change. You keep records over days, over weeks. This book was our planetary observation journal. You would never know without looking through a telescope, but Venus waxed and waned like the moon. Its apparent size could change sixfold. Its location in the sky also changes, so there were times where you couldn't see it at all. We'd kept the record for ages, but lately we hadn't been able to see the planets due to the rain and clouds. It's been two weeks since our last entry. Very soon, Venus would begin rising later and later, and it would be difficult to see. Dirt. <laughs> yeah, dude, these kids are like way beyond what I was doing when I was like seven or eight. <laughs> like, I, I don't even think I could do this kind of thing now, really. So that's why we had to hurry today. The forecast for this morning had been overcast again, so I had given up, setting my alarm for the usual time and went to bed. But for whatever reason, Hikari ignored the forecast and woke up early. We owed her big time. It looks like the moon, doesn't it? Looking through the telescope, Venus was so bright it was almost blinding, and it waned like the moon. Saya drew that shape carefully. As she did, the sky gradually began to lighten. It was dawn. Ugh, so cold. It was six in the morning, the coldest part of the day. It was so cold, even the slightest breeze felt like it was freezing you. The three of us huddled together to fight the cold. Hey, I've got some chocolate. And I brought some bread for breakfast. Let's see. I've got some hot cocoa in here. We shared our food and looked over our observation notes. There were entries showing Venus in full, as well as it waning with the dates entered. Later, we'd color in today's entry and write down anything else we observed. Today's entry with Venus and rendezvous with the crescent moon was a wonderful addition to our observation. When you look at it like this, it's just a tiny dot, but through the telescope, it's like the moon. Wait, there's not an NSFW version of this? Yeah, there is actually. No, 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 no. Okay, so they're like six right now. <laughs> So this is like a flashback, like, no, no, not, like I was saying this earlier, like, this is whatever they're kids, like, later on, they, they're not kids, <laughs> so it's not that weird. And yeah, there is an NSFW version of this, but they, it hasn't been localized, so like, it's not translated yet, so, like, even if I had it, I wouldn't be able to read it or anything. So this is like the Steam version that's localized, you know, so it's not NSFW. <laughs> This is before Steam was like okay with NSFW stuff. Like now they're basically like, oh, you can basically put whatever you want on the Steam market as long as it's not about like a school shooter or whatever. But yeah, this is back whenever they were really giving a shit about NSFW stuff being on the Steam market. So none of that in here. When you take time to observe, you can notice, you can take notice of the wonders around you. And there are also puzzles to solve. Mercury and Venus wax and wane like the moon. That's because those two planets orbit closer to the sun than the Earth does. Changes on the way the sun's light shines on them makes it look like they are waxing and waning. They are always near the sun, rising at dawn and setting at dusk. That's why you can't see the two planets in the middle of the night. Even as the deep indigo of the winter sky began to lighten, Venus still shone brilliantly. That's why it's often called the morning star. It announces the dawn, shining serenely in the morning sky as it does. Even without a telescope, it was beautiful. So do the versions differ in story or just, it's just the images. Like, okay, I think they, they like cut out some things. Like if you're playing the NSFW version, you'll get like the sexual content, which is just like 
you know, like, the bedroom scenes or whatever, but it doesn't affect the story at all. Like, that's just the stuff that they, like, like, it's additional stuff. Like, you could read it without that and nothing would change. It's literally just, like, that stuff that they take out. Because otherwise it's, like, the same story, really. Which is why, like, actually a lot of these have, like, the option to omit, like, adult content because, like, apparently there's some people who aren't comfortable with reading that stuff and they just prefer to read the story. Which is basically what this is, except I don't have the option. <laughs> it's just, like, not there in this version. Yet as brilliantly as it shines, when the sun comes up, it would surely fade into the greater light like all the other stars. Our observation journal is almost done. On other pages, we had sketches of Mars, Jupiter, and its moons, and Saturn's rings. We'd even written about the other planets, the ones that look like tiny dots, even in the telescope, that we researched in the library. This is a PG stream, can't have lewd stuff. Yep, well, I, I, I'd say like PG-13, but yeah, basically. Sorry, I'm late. I was watching One Punch Man. Dude, I love that anime, actually. <laughs> it's like one of the few, like, comedic anime that's like actually funny <laughs> like most of them don't do it as well as that one does I'd say wait have you finished it yet ladies and gentlemen congratulations on finishing your one year mission that's one of the few you've watched let's go thoughts on Moomin Rider being best character all that's left is writing up this writing this up into a report I guess this is the second time you oh okay yeah so you know just a little more work and our grand project would be finished. Can't be here, I'm not 13. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> it was a little premature, but a huge feeling of accomplishment grew within me. And soon, I felt warm enough to forget the cold. Moomin Rider soon gave me goosebumps. Oh my god, I know! <laughs> that was just so sad. Ugh. Is season 2 out yet? I think so. I haven't watched it yet, though. But I'm pretty sure it's been out for a little while now. No? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, well then I'm not too far behind, I guess. I thought it was. Oh wait, we're getting the opening, let's go! This is a PP map, I think. Oh wait, no! Okay, NBM. Hikari suddenly stood up and pointed at the brightening horizon. Dude, the- <laughs> what's it called? The production value for this VN is like, pretty through the roof. If <laughs> they like, animated her hand doing that or whatever. This train is the Milky Way Railroad Observatory, headed for the sky. Though we three have conquered the solar system, our journey is not over yet. Now then, let's depart for our next destination, as we solve the mysteries of the universe. Yeah. The list of anime I've watched is like One Punch Man, Death Note, Sao, and Hunter. Oh my god, okay. I've actually... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll get done this thing. <laughs> oh, you got me to paste it. Okay. I've seen Death Note. I actually love that anime so much. I would be so down to group watch that if anyone wanted to. Because the last time I watched it, I was like... Actually, I think I rewatched it with my brother when I was like 15 or 16. But the first time I watched it all the way through, I think it was like 12 or 13. So it's been a really long time. Boku no Pico best anime. Ha ha ha. Also, Sao is like okay. I dropped season 2 though. And I only watched like... Th okay, I watched like 2 or 3 episodes of Hunter x Hunter. Because, like, I guess Xavier was, like, saying that I should watch it, so he was just like, oh, just keep watching, it gets better. So I watched, like, three episodes, and I was like, uh, nope, no thank you. Okay, what is up Red Moss 101? Hunter x Hunter Hype AF. Oh, I can't get into it. It's too long, also. Wait, what? I stared up awestruck at Hikari's face, illuminated in the dim light of dawn, and felt a sense of hope. So I watched some anime about- Oh, Parasite! <laughs> I know which one you're talking about. Right, unless there's another weird hand thing. Yep. I felt we could go anywhere. We could solve the mysteries of outer space. I felt like we could reach out our hands and catch the stars, the three of us. As long as Hikari is here. Yeah, I watched the first few episodes of that and I was like, what the fuck? Like, I think I watched it whenever it first came out and I was like, Mm, I don't know about this, so I dropped it. Even though I've heard, like, that it's really, really good. I don't know. Every day in Vile, the guy I sat next to would watch it, and I was equally as poor, so I watched it with him. <laughs> Man. <laughs> yep. 
the education system has not failed us yet. This game he made is incapable of scrolling up. Feels bad. Oh wait! I okay. I have it on my other screen, and then I have it right here. Actually, actually, I have it on three screens, but I'm just lazy. Only a few months ago, it was announced that the season will premiere on Hulu on April 9th. We know also that the anime will be subbed when it drops, and it's expected the dub will come out later. If you are not a Hulu subscriber, the good news is that the price for the subscription has dropped. Oh, cool! Actually, I already have a Hulu subscription. What's up, my brother? Hello. <laughs> this is my brother in the chat. Thoughts of me not having him as VIP. <laughs> I'll give him VIP. There you go. Let's go. <laughs> Bro, literally. Bro, what is up? If you are not- if you lose subscription- Yeah. It's really easy to buy stuff in 2019. It's really easy to join a rabbit room with me and watch it for free because I have a Hulu subscription. Thanks, gamer. No problem, gamer. How's your meetup going? Thoughts? <laughs> I turned off my alarm and lay there for a while. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean your camping trip. Then I crawled out of my sleeping bag and poked my face out of the tent to have a look around. Group watch season two of One Punch Man. That's a super pog champ. Actually able to do that. Okay, is it gonna drop like the whole season or is it just gonna do like a like one episode a week or something? Because if it's like the full season, then I'm down to binge watch that like the day it comes out. Then I crawled out of my sleeping bag and poked my face out of the tent to have a look around. The sky was shifting from black to deep blue. The stars were almost nowhere to be seen and dawn was coming soon. Doesn't Hulu have ads? Uh, not if you have a subscription. Looks like I overslept a bit. The chilled air forced me awake as I boiled water on my portable gas stove. I mixed the water with dark brown powder in my cup. Prob just better to pirate. I don't know. Yeah, the camping trips would be good. Mm-hmm. I see, I see. How how's Colby doing? Colby. The sky free of dirt and smog was clearer at dawn than dusk. As the sun climbed over the horizon into the pure clear sky, the colors grew in a beautiful gradation. Gr gradation. Oh my god, I can't read. My Hero Academia has officially revealed that the fourth season of the series will officially begin in October 2019. I have not watched My Hero Academia, but my brother has, so I think he has? I can't remember, actually. As always, it was a sight that made my heart feel washed clean. <laughs> I I'm sorry, like, oh, I know you love, like, the frog girl and stuff, but I haven't seen anything. I don't know, bro. It's so good. Really? Maybe. I have, like, weird taste. I don't know. Last season was pretty trash. <laughs> was it? From the seat on the mountain peak, I had the sight. I had that sight all to myself while I drank my instant coffee. Yikes, bad take. <laughs> I just watched Dory shows. Yeah, I don't know. I had, like, zero attention span, obviously. Like, even really like, right now, I'm getting so distracted just, like, looking at chat and whatever, but... Yeah, I don't have the attention span to sit down and watch, like, a full TV show. Kirby's MHA waifu. I don't know what y'all are talking about. <laughs> I will never stop loving this. I enjoyed the blissful moment as I warmed my numbed fingertips on the steaming cup. My heart dried out and twisted from the constant rat race of daily life and studying, felt seeped in warmth and washed clean. The only coffee on the mountain's top Mountaintop was instant. I don't do that either. I usually have something... I usually have something playing on one monitor while something on the other. Okay, but like, the thing is, with anime, it's really hard to do that unless you're, like, watching a dub. <laughs> because, like, you know, you have to be, like, reading, so basically you're, like, actively involved. <laughs> oh no, he's a normie. <laughs> playing RuneScape and watching you, nice. But you're always playing RuneScape. It didn't need any richness or deep flavor. The mountain provided that. Incidentally, I called this a mountain peak, but getting here didn't call for anything as grand as mountain climbing. <laughs> That's so sad. It is the kind of place middle-aged folks in light clothes hike to on a weekend afternoon. You can ride a bike right up here. <laughs> oh my god. Even so, I was all on my own. I had the scenery and clear all to myself. 
For just this moment, I could forget my daily life and all the little irritations of school and enjoy the solitude. Bros, this is how I feel while I'm playing O's Thoughts. <laughs> it was the greatest, most luxurious moment of bliss. Okay, not like that <laughs> passionate about it, but you know, like the whole forget daily life thing. <laughs> But it seems like a bit of a waste to enjoy this all alone. Even though no one was there to hear, the words thumbled out like an apology and I picked up my smartphone. The thin plate of glass was like a symbol of the daily life and my relationships with the people of this planet. Is this supposed to be funny or am I reading too much into it? <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be funny. Usually these things take themselves like semi-seriously, I guess. You're back, loser. I am. Indeed I am. I would share this feeling- I should share this feeling with someone. I think that's what he said. Yeah. The first face that popped into my mind was Ta- Takechi's? My best friend. Takechi's? I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm bad at reading. But I shook my head and drove him out of my mind. Who's back? My back? <laughs> He's no good. He doesn't have one ounce of sensitivity. This would be wasted on him. I would just encourage his vanity. <laughs> I tapped my chat app and selected Saya's name. The pre-dawn sky, I sent her a short text along with a picture. Saya, so delicate and full of sensitivity, would surely understand the depth of my emotion. No wait, I use chat app too! As do I when I'm talking to my parents because otherwise I'm just using Discord. She's not answering. My text sat there, displayed in the word, unread. But that was a given. It wasn't even six in the morning. She was probably still asleep. Any chatters? <laughs> Any chat? Chat appers? <laughs> even though I knew why, it bothered me that she didn't answer. I shouldn't have sent the message. I guess I'll go home. I finished off my coffee completely cold now and stood up feeling dejected. Oh, okay, nope. <laughs> Not that. If I could have, I would have stayed and prayed to the morning sun, but I had to get my part- I had to get to my part-time job. <laughs> oh my god, y'all. I pulled myself together and started taking down my tent. <laughs> Yikes. Any- any chat letters? Any Omegle goers? Thank you. Customers always start trickling into Satome's stop and buy almost as soon as it opens. Unlike more famous convenience store chain chains, it had a rural feel to it. Also, it was right in front of the station, so it was actually pretty convenient. Bro, in middle school, me and like two other friends would go on chat roulette on the school game. Oh my god. Who's the cutest girl so far? I think her name is... I think it's Seiya, the one who has like the heterochromia or whatever. Definitely the cutest girl so far. But they were all like six like a few minutes ago, so now I think they're adults, so we haven't seen them yet. Dude. <laughs> I used to actually go on Omegle a lot with like, I don't know, friends and stuff, I guess. Whenever I was in like middle school, but yikes. <laughs> oh my god. Most morning customers were students, adults on the way to work, or old timers stopping to buy breakfast during their morning walk. What a god I wish I was <laughs> Always the same faces. That's 142 yen and change, thanks for stopping by. And when the customers let up, I had a chance to take a breath, and then... I suddenly heard the excited voice of a barking dog coming from outside. That did not sound like a barking dog. I don't know if y'all could hear that. That definitely sounded like somebody that they were like, uh, can, can you do a... <laughs> oh, she came. I think this is Saya. I went out to look and was met with the same old scene. That is, she was standing on its hind legs, wagging its tail and straining its... It's lead to the limit. And in front of him, her brow furrowed in deep concentrate. Const wait, what? Consternation stood a girl in her school uniform. Fuck, he has the name of a popular author, so I'm probably not gonna find anything. Wait, who is it? What? 
It was an odd scene, but taken as a picture, it was actually quite pleasant. The girl had the kind of beauty you'd see in commercials. Her face was perfectly laid out, her figure was slim and elegant, her hair shone under the morning sun. All of which made her the archetype of a beautiful schoolgirl. Of course, what was most striking about her was something else. Is it gonna be her heterochromia? Yep, let's go! Biscuit can only read the most recent chat message he made. Wait, what'd you say? Oh my god, I'm so bad at reading. Her left eye and her right eye were different colors. One was an intense blue and the other orange, tinged with amber. Those beautiful jewel-like multicolored eyes were now tearing up. At first glance, it seemed like the girl was crying because she was surprised at the Shiva's excitement, but actually it was something else. The girl seemed to reach out her hand, then retracted it, but then reached out again. The dog, seeing this, sensed something about, sensed something was about to happen, and got more excited, whipping his tail back and forth and barked happily. She couldn't bear it anymore. What is that? <laughs> The girl's multicolored eyes reached out to pet the Shiva's head. Wow. <laughs> Stop, Saya. Her hand had stopped just in time. You know how this ends, right? What'll happen if you play with him? Oh, but it's just for a bit. Oh. <laughs> Is that an Evo? I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Okay, I have it on my other monitor, but I'm looking at like the OBS thing. I'm sorry. Look, it actually does show up in my chat now though, because I did enable this plugin. It's just not showing up on my like, you know, the application, I guess, or the program. That's what you said last time, but you couldn't help it, and who ended up crying then? It was shedding season, and the Shiva's fur was in the middle of regrowing. It was shedding a ton. I did enable it. It doesn't show up on the screenshot? Oh my god. Okay, well, I don't know what the problem is. I'll literally take a screenshot of- Oh shit. Wait, did I close out the game? Wait, no, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I'll take a screenshot of my screen or whatever. Hold up. Look, bros. You can see. I have it enabled on here, right? Right? But for some reason, it's not showing up in my chat. And I don't know why. But, yep. Interesting stuff. Okay, raise your arms. Kotaru had his way with Seiya until I dragged him off with his leash. Oh, what the? Thank you, Tokyo Genesis SXS. Let's go! Thank you for the subscription. I really appreciate that. <laughs> How are you doing? And thanks to him, I was now cleaning Seiya's fur-covered uniform with a lint roller. Let's go! That's a different- wait, really? Okay, y'all are gonna have to help me because for some reason it's like literally just not showing up on my like- on the chat, I guess. Leaving it here last time had been the right decision. This is partly your fault, you know, getting him worked up like that. Oh, and if you're not in my Discord server, here, you can go ahead and join, uh, so you can get access to my three emotes. Kotaru was usually really shy and timid, but if someone he liked came along, he'd wag his tail and want to play. Especially when it was Seiya, who he'd loved more than his master for ages. Whatever the case, he was a clever, easy to train dog who was usually well behaved. Disky 11 love. Disky 11 yay. <laughs> Dude, my emotes are actually like pretty good now. They used to not be. Now they're okay. <laughs> and I think. Okay, so. Like, you know how Discord doesn't like discriminate against like different tiers of subscriptions? It's like. you If you subscribe at tier 1, you get like all the way up to tier 3 emotes. You know my emote names are clean as fuck. Alright, link, link. But basically, like, <laughs> people get, like, my tier 2 sub emote, even if they're a tier sub one, in Discord. So I'm thinking about, like, commissioning Rudy to draw me, like, a couple of more emotes. Like, someone was saying that I should get one, at, like, a sleeping emote and, like, a yeehaw emote. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, maybe. What the? 
That's actually lucky. My prefix is really garbage and I can't change it because I'm not a partner, so I'm lucky. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> the only reason why I'd ever care about having partners is so I can fucking change my emote prefix. If Saya hadn't done her little, oh, I'm going to pet you. No, wait, I'm not. Okay, I will tease. He never would have gone off like that. Did you skin your knees? No, I'm fine. They're just red. She's lucky she didn't get hurt. There's some on your butt, too. I'll do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like, Xavier's prefix is A and X, which is really lucky. I don't know how he got that. <laughs> hey, what is up? Nyar after hours. How are you doing? Just then, the store manager came out front. Oh, hey, what is up, Ultra Floral? Oh, how are you doing? I like when AFK whenever I hosted you, but I came back because I said I would stream a visual novel. Why are you disrespecting my man like that? What man? <laughs> All right, Akito. That'll do for today. Sure thing. His name, Tokyo Nemesis. Oh, okay. <laughs> My part-time job is only in the morning from opening up the store until the manager is finished with his breakfast. <laughs> How are y'all doing? It, okay, it is an arrow game, but it's the clean version, so we're all good. <laughs> no worries. In the back of the store, I took off my apron and changed into my uniform. How did your stream go? Whenever I got back, you were like, you were done. But I saw that you were streaming earlier. I'm still not sure what this is. It's like a story, bro. It's like a romantic story. Sadly, Twitch doesn't allow the arrow version. It was good and fun. That's good. I'm glad you had fun. Yeah, it's actually pretty late. I woke up really late though, so <laughs> I'm gonna be up for a while. I heard Katari barking, so I figured Saya must be here. Oh, I'm sorry. Saya blushed again and hurried off to get something for lunch. Okay, good night. Thanks for watching. Sour plum rice ball with and a cream bun and one coffee milk. Is that all you're getting for lunch? Hmm, yes. Well, that's no good. You're a growing girl. You need plenty to eat or you'll never grow up big and strong like me. Saying this, she slipped. She sipped a. Wait, she slipped a steamed pork bun into Saya's shopping bag. <laughs> oh, here you are, so cute. Like two hours past your bedtime. Are you talking to me or someone else? Oh, okay. You're talking to him. Thank you. Feeling a little jealous, I got something for lunch too, and we left together. Alright then, see you later. Goodbye. Have a good day, you two. Study hard. Here you are, Aikido. When we left the store, Saya handed me half of the pork bun she'd gotten. <laughs> she even gave me the bigger half. Say you were way too nice. <laughs> Stop and buys pork buns are a little different from other places. They're handmade by the manager's husband, and they're packed with delicious filling. They're also huge. They're even bigger than other chains' pork buns. Is it in Croissant Club? Is what in Qu Croissant Club my emotes? My buns are kind of famous around here. Wait, what? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, what? Wrong chat? Oh. oh, okay, I was so confused. <laughs> this is to thank- this is to thank you for the lovely picture. I guess you climbed that mountain again, huh? Oh, okay. Munching on the steaming pork bun, I took out my phone. And what do you know, Saya had answered. Knowing that improved my mood, so I closed my eyes and slowly started talking. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> The mountain's so nice. You can feel the wonder of nature with your whole body and it makes you feel so small. Oh yeah yeah, that's my that's my Discord server. It's Croissant Club. Oh my god, what the <laughs> Gopher, thank you for the tier two subscriptions. You can now use the worst tier two sub emote in existence. <laughs> Let's go. He has a SoundCloud if you want to see his stuff. Wait, who are you talking about? Let's go! <laughs> In the middle of that view, drinking a single cup of instant coffee is the ultimate luxury. Crazy, lol, thought it was... Thought I was going crazy because my name is 
Oh, really? <laughs> no, no, it's... Okay, so, like, the joke is, like, you know, I'm I'm Biscuit Hime, and then they were like, so what do you call your subscribers? Like, bakers or something? And I was like, I don't know. And this was like, you should call them <laughs> croissants. And I was like, um, maybe? But there's this, uh, there's this guy who's, like, he was uh, doing, like, a mapping stream. And he's, like, from France, right? So they are like, hey, how do you pronounce croissant? He was like, well, you mean croissant? <laughs> and we were like, we thought that was so funny, right? So I guess it's kind of a stupid inside joke, but yeah, that's how, that's, like, the name that we gave my subscribers. <laughs> so then we named my server Croissant Club. Because it used to be Himiko Fan Club, but I don't think everyone knows who that is, so here we are. <laughs> I'll give you a follow, actually. I use... Oh. Oh, wait, I thought this was legitimate. I was about to say. Oh, go. I actually do use SoundCloud, like, a decent amount. It has a pretty good algorithm for recommending music. I tried to tell her, but Seiya's reaction was so strange, so filled with self-satisfaction, uh, that I figured I should hurry up and read her reply. Oh, wait, is that actually your SoundCloud? I'll actually follow you. Oh wait, I need to sign in. One second. Okay, I'm in boys. Let's go, I followed you. <laughs> How pretty, thank you for starting my day off with this wonderful picture. Last time my mom made me Odin soup. I'll bring some later. <laughs> for real, she made extra just for you. Thanks, Saya. Saya's family is Odin. The grandeur of nature around the mountain peak with the coffee was no rival for this luxury. It really was something to look forward to. When she saw the bus coming, Saya rushed to finish off her pork bun. You better slow down, you'll burn yourself. Alright, see you later, Akito. Yeah, later. <laughs> she got on the bus and said hi to the other students from her school, then waved to me from the window. One of her friends seeing this, Leardon poked her in the side, and she blushed and shook her head quickly. She probably got upset because they mistook me for her boyfriend again. No matter how often it hap how often it happened, she always overreacted like it was the first time. That's Seiya Amanogawa in a nutshell. I am still not very good at pronouncing Japanese, clearly, but I'm trying. When the bus was out of sight, I unlocked my bike. Guess I'd better go too. I don't know, bros, who's the cutest girl so far? Good morning. Hey, Mr. Sorami. What's with the huge bag? That's against school regulations. I was sort of camping in the mountains. I greeted my teacher and headed through the school gates. Gin is cute AF. <laughs> I parked my bike and went toward the buildings, but I didn't head for my homeroom. Girl on the bottom right. I <laughs> have. Oh, come on. Thanks, bro. Personally, I'm a fan of Lady Venus. There's actually um, a character named Venus in Honey Pop, so I guess I am too. Building 2, where the Culture Club rooms are located, was deserted as it's still pretty early. I walked down from the quiet hallway and stopped in the front of a certain door. Astronomy Club. That's what was written on the sign of that door. I took a key out of my pocket and opened the Astronomy Club door. I feel like I could sleep through first period. Truly feeling tired, I dropped my bag that was weighing down my shoulder and looked at the clock. I had 10 minutes until homeroom. I had planned on mixing in with the sports team to get to get in on their post morning training shower, but there wasn't time. Dude, this reminds me of how much I do not miss high school. <laughs> I've been either like at the ass crack of dawn and like wanting to G in immediately, <laughs> while also having to stay there for like eight hours a day. Why does it feel like there's so much sexual tension? Is it the music? <laughs> Is there? I'm not feeling that yet, really. I guess I'll just wash my face and brush my teeth and head to class. I grabbed the towel and toothbrush from my desk and headed out of the room. A totally normal morning. The beginning of another day, nothing special about it. <laughs> Elevator music makes me sweaty. Like, this is, yeah, I guess this is basically elevator music so far. I didn't think much about it, but figured this was likely how all my days would be. But on that day after school, something would happen that would bring a little variety to my daily life. Oh, let's go. 
Transition time. This must be the place. The private institution, Mako Academy. It's an escalator school going from kindergarten all the way to college. The located near the sea in the sprawling city of Hoshinonaka. Yeah. Something's happening? Are there people who speedrun VNs? I can actually tell you how to speedrun a VN. Do so you hold control? And that happens? Okay, I skipped way too far ahead. <laughs> but that's literally how you speedrun a VN. So, needless to say, I don't think it's very competitive. Just by looking at it, you could tell it was a school for the kids of well-to-do families. Watching the kids going home, you got the feeling that they were somehow more refined. And while they lived in the same city as us, they are also in a really different world. Oh wait, there's more. I gathered my resolve and went against the flow of the students going home, entering the school building. Inside the building seemed even more otherworldly than, than, than the exterior did. Okay. What is this place? Is it actually a school? I was in an airy corridor lined by glass walls. It felt like I was lost in some palace in a faraway land. <laughs> Even under normal circumstances, visiting another school was nerve-wracking, but this feeling of strangeness was something else. Of course, all the students I passed stared intently. I went down the hall trying to avoid any eye contact. I guess this is it. I stopped in front of the door and looked at the sign, marking my destination. Astronomy Club. It was written right there in front of me. Gulping nervously, I knocked on the door. Excuse me. To my surprise, the open door revealed only darkness. No one's here. Oh shit, okay. At least that's what I thought until a tiny light popped into life in the middle of the room. Who is this? Wah. A girl's face appeared in the faint light and I nearly let on an involuntary leap. Yelp. Oh my god, why can't I not read? Oh, what's up my dude? Bobs. <laughs> this is the SFW version bros. In the light, flickering red like a candle, the young woman reached out for one of the cards laid out on the table. Is she gonna activate her trap card? <laughs> I guess so. Or her tarot card. They looked like tarot cards. She looked down at the card and spoke. Oh, what a, her voice is so good. I thought you'd be coming along soon. It's as, it's as if she was reading the future, like some kind of fortune teller. I answered. Um, yeah, I was told to come here at this time. I couldn't tell if she'd heard me or not, but the beautiful yet creepy girl put the card back onto the table and let out a little laugh. <laughs> you are Ar Akito Sorami of Maya, aren't you? Yes, I am. Wait, hold on. What's Maya? Maya? I'm probably not saying this correctly, but correct me if I'm wrong. This girl is cuter than the other one, bots. Mm, I don't know yet. Please show me a jacket IRL that fits like that. <laughs> Ma I guess Maya? Maya, the oldest of the seven beautiful and noble Ple I don't even know how to say that. Pleiade sisters who were turned into stars and are pursued by the savage hunter Orion. I should know how to say that because I've seen that word before, but I've never heard it read out loud, so. It's the special name given to your school, Hoshino. Daichi. She's a wizard here. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I think her voice might make her like SS tier, but I can't tell yet. I thought it was a rather vague answer. I wanted to go home. If she does not have the coconuts in her jacket, then I'm a little confused. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, I don't know. Why was the room so dark? Wasn't it the astronomy club room? Why was she doing tarot or whatever? Who was Maya anyway? It's only natural to be surprised, but listen, Akito. If you can truly see the path of the stars, then correctly reading this kind of thing is easy. <laughs> he sounds like a big doodle. <laughs> Looking at these buildings from the outside- oh wait, what? Scroll wheel moments? Looking at these buildings from the outside, I- 
I had thought the people here existed in another world, but now I feel a thousand times more out of place. One large spaghetti. <laughs> I just stood there, not knowing how I should respond, but eventually Miss Beautiful, but totally creepy, broke the silence. If we continue on this path, we are doomed. You must awaken from your angel's slumber, Maya, eldest of the seven sisters, to deny her fate. She's a Chunabyo, bros. It's time to d -d duel. She's about to summon Exodia on your ass. Oh my god. What exactly was the standard response at a time like that? It's not really something they teach you in school. I trusted my instincts and answered. Oh man, I think I left my stove on. Huh? I could cause a fire. I have to hurry back. Later. Just the heart of your card. Turns out this game is just you. -Yu. <laughs> Wait, Honoka, Honoka. Yes, ma'am. What the? Just before I could leave, the door behind me slammed shut, closing me in. <laughs> Wait, what the? My emotes! Wait, did you just lose your sub? <laughs> you literally lost it in the past like five minutes. <laughs> the darkness grew deep. Oh, what the? What? Envy? What is up? How are you doing, my dude? Hello. Thank you for the subscription. How are you doing? The darkness grew deeper than before, and sweat turned started to run down my forehead. I'm good. Let's go. Welcome to the Kwasan Club. It's so late. Well, actually, it's not that late for you, but what are you doing up now? <laughs> I suddenly felt like I was about to become part of some ridiculous crime scene, and I had been looking forward to going home and having Saya's Odin. <laughs> okay, I, I forget you're in California. I'm in Texas, bro. <laughs> to enjoy that flavorful, tender stewed radish, the fish cake so juicy and soft. I love my French croissant home oh, oh, what? <laughs> and though they may call me a heretic, the inescapably captivating cabbage roll. There's no need for alarm, Akito. We only wish to speak with you. We hon hon what? I am so confused. Why should I read now? Yeah, and also I don't know what this music is. <laughs> I don't have the kind of training necessary to stay calm in a situation like this. Yes, Miss President. Perhaps we should explain it a bit. But the presentation is very important. It helps to getting the point across. Can you at least open the curtains? If not, I'm going home, even if I have to force my way out. Oh, fine, Honoka. <laughs> um, that oh, homage. <laughs> Oh my god. Yes, right away. With the heavy curtains open, the windows allowed the soft sunlight to fill the room. What had had to now been a creepy chamber was revealed to be a standard astronomy club room. It was a perfectly normal room all along. Normal? Miss President, please settle down. This was turning into a chore, but at the same time, when she was stumbling around in a shock like that, it oddly made her more beautiful. So you are... Oh, I don't know, bros. Mm, Orihime, aka the worst girl in Bleach. Thoughts? I'm Orihime Shiratori, the former president of the Meiko Academy Astronomy Club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Akito Sorami. I have the pleasure of being the president's assistant and the current yes, club sir. member. I'm Honoka. Look, girl is poggers. Uh, I don't know, bro. I kind of like the girl on the right better. Or, or he may. I heard about these two from our president. Or rather, our former president. Also, I feel like the left girl is just going to be a side character. I, my visual novel senses are telling me that. I'm sorry, I just read that you're from Texas. Yes, I am. Yeehaw. <laughs> Urahime was a third year and Honoka was a first year, like me. That's probably why I'm getting the sexual vibes. Oh my god, y'all are too much. You need your last off. A third year, Urahime should normally have been retired from club life. 
but maybe at a school like Mako, third years are less worried about tests. <laughs> Dang nabbit, feller. Yep, that's how we talk here in Dallas, Texas. I don't know. I feel like you can probably tell that I'm Texan based off my accent if you like listen close enough. But I don't feel like it's too obvious, hopefully. I don't really know though. It's nice to meet both of you. I'm Akita Surami. I'm a first year at the Astronomy Club at Hoshino Daiichi. Yeah. Please have a seat. When I sat down, they brought me an elegantly decorated cup of tea and a wild strawberry tart. Please do forgive all of that just now. We wanted to give you a proper reception. You have my apologies. Akita Surami. <laughs> I didn't really think that that was the proper way to meet someone for the first time myself. If I had been Saya, I'd be crying. Anyway, what did she want to talk about? I felt like she had said something about it before, but it had been so wrapped up in fancy language that I hadn't forgotten it. <laughs> I believe you are already aware of our plans, are you not? No, not really. A look of shock covered Orihime's face. Our president didn't tell me anything either. <laughs> the only reason I came was because the president had asked me. It's complicated, but by president, I actually mean former president, since he's a third year. He had to retire from the astronomy club last summer. Since I was the only member of our astronomy club, I also became the president, despite being a first year. But as there weren't any other members, there wasn't anyone to call me Mr. President. <laughs> ay ay ay. Is that a Natsuki ay ay ay? That's what it looks like, kind of. And although I should have been aware of my own position, I thought I always called the former president, president. And for me, he was still the president. Call me Mr. President Monk M. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go to sleep now. Good night, cutie pie girl. Good night, gopher. Thanks for watching. I'll try to do G uh, chill V and GM streams more often. Dibsdale Dibato. <laughs> I was a little- it was a little complicated. The president told me, I want you to go and hear what Orihime at Mako Academy has to say, but nothing else other than that. Konako was whispering into Orihime's ear. Mr. President, you said you wanted it to be a surprise, so I made sure he didn't say anything. Well then, I really am glad you showed up. The two of them stared at me curiously. What was that look for? Those two were the weird ones. I was just here out of respect for my president. Are you familiar with the Six Stars Club? Like in Osu? <laughs> Those don't look like the astronomy types. Yeah, that's actually kind of true. But I mean, in visual novels, that's like always how it is. Like, they're always way more attractive than they would be IRL. The Six Stars Club, not really, no. Is this what you get whenever you start passing high star writing shit in Osu? <laughs> I'd never heard of it. It kind of sounded like the name of a kid's playgroup. I suppose you could call it a gathering of like-minded people. Okay, guys. Owner of the Dimsdale Dimodome. <laughs> to be more precise, it is, it's an association of astronomy clubs. An association from six schools around what is now Hoshinonaka City, formerly Hoshido City, and Amanonaka City. I have no idea what you guys are talking about, but okay. After a proud third year history filled with countless accomplishments. Six years ago, a disagreement over the direction it was taking resulted in its dissolution. Sounded like the way most rock bands break up. But anyway, I had no idea there had ever been such a group. The Six Stars is another name for the Pleiades. They chose the name Six Star Club while gazing up at the six stars shining beautifully in the winter sky. Fairly odd person. Oh, no, I mean, I know that. <laughs> no, I've, I've seen this, but I just didn't understand why y'all were talking about it now. I wish my father was here. <laughs> Hello, son. Timmy Turner, oh, my name is Doug Dimonome, owner of the Dimsdale <laughs> Dimonome. Thank you for locating my... <sighs> oh, okay. Yep. Well, it takes me back. What a romantic story. Okay, how about this group? We wish to resurrect it ourselves. What up, B? What is up, HDog98? How are you doing? We wish to resurrect it ourselves. Huh? And so, here's where we come back to what we said at the beginning. Honaka came up close to me. 
if we continue on this path, we are doomed. You must awaken from your ageless slumber, Maya, eldest of the seven sisters, to deny our fate. I think that was what she had said to me, but I still didn't get it. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Akito, how many members are in the Hoshino Daiichi Astronomy Club right now? Congrats on establishing your own community, Lily. Oh, hey, what is up, Arya? How are you doing? <laughs> are you gonna show up to the match leader? I will, actually. Dad, why are you up? Oh my god. I wouldn't say I have like a whole community, it's just like a few people who come and chill every now and then. Nice glasses, laughing emoji. Thank you, I guess, but <laughs> maybe not if you're trolling from the ROFL emoji. How are you doing, Arya? Akito, how many members are in the Hoshino Daiichi Astronomy Club right now? It's just me. Oruhime had a smug look on her face. Seisen Girls School has two. Amanonoka, just one. There are four in Amanonaka Nishi. At the Moro Misawa Technical, there are three. I'm here for the gameplay, let's go! The intense V in gameplay? You can't just chat up young girls at your age. What? Wait, are you, talk to, are you talking to me? Because I am almost 20 years old, so... And finally, here at Mako Academy, there are three, not including me. Clubs are starving for members everywhere. Excellent, my dear Akita Sarami of Maya. Very perceptive. Aren't you like 50, Dad? Oh. <laughs> I thought you were talking to me. I was like, are you... whenever you said, aren't you like 50, I was like, what the? I didn't think I looked that old, but okay. Okay, so what is with the Maya stuff already? During the Six Stars Club heyday, the average membership at each school was around 10 people. Amana no Naka Nishi had even up to 36 members. Chris Hansen here, why don't you take a seat? <laughs> Dude, Dateline, that takes you back, holy shit. I actually wonder if any of that stuff was like actually real. I, to this day, I don't know. Compare that to now, astronomy clubs at every school are on the brink of cancellation. Even fewer are students per fewer are students predicted for the next year. I'm just the pizza delivery guy. Chill, bro. Okay, okay. <laughs> Wanna slide? <laughs> when she heard Hanukkah's words, Orihime sighed and looked miserable. Just as nighttime lights of human industry have caused the stars to fade from the night sky, we too are upon the slow, gentle path towards destruction. Yo, did you know Chris Hansen re rebooted to catch a predator on YouTube series? Wait, really? I had no idea. I used to watch that stuff, like, on, I guess, like, clips of it on YouTube whenever I was, like, younger. I don't think I ever watched the, like, real show. Actually, I'm pretty sure it came on, like, late night television sometimes, but I don't know. Probably only watched that during, like, the summertime. We must take corrective action quickly. To prevent the guiding light of Astronomy Club from dying throughout Hoshinonaka City, we must bring back that golden age. Hansen versus Predator? <laughs> what the? Man versus nature. To do that, we must rebuild the Six Stars Club. Orihime nodded her head with a very serious look on her face. It wasn't unusual for Astronomy Clubs from different schools to work together to have observation meetups. It's like when sports clubs have scrimmages with teams from other schools. The Six Stars Club started out just as an observation meetup. It later morphed into a more permanent arrangement with activities outside of their respective schools. After the fall of the Six Stars Club, each school club lost a lot of members. So in order to revive the Six Stars Club as a whole, each individual club would need to be revitalized as well. Judge Judy to catch a predator, Mari Family Feud, uh, Deal or No Deal, <laughs> the, the I Stayed Home From School uh, TV programming. So you fight other astronomy clubs using star power. I don't know if that's what they're talking about. I think they're talking about like teaming up to save astronomy clubs in general, maybe? I could spend the rest of my life watching videos of those on YouTube. Dude, did you ever watch like Cheaters or anything that came on at like- oh! Wait, did you say Jerry Springer? No, okay. <laughs> I used to love watching like Cheaters and Jerry Springer on like, I think it was like CW or something. <laughs> like the late night TV. 
H Dog was on Jerry Springer last week, okay. <laughs> so in order to revive the Six Stars Club as a whole, each individual club would need to be revitalized as well. But the Six Stars Club was shut down by alumni, wasn't it? What exactly happened in that disagreement over its direction, I wondered. <laughs> Dude, like, I was actually so disappointed whenever I found out that Jerry Springer wasn't real, because, like, in my ten-year-old mind, I was thinking that it was just, like, the most absurd thing, but I was also convinced that it had to be real, since it was, like, reality te television or whatever. Tell me this isn't sexual. Oh, maybe a little bit. He's still 14. Prosthetic legs from a strip club. What? <laughs> if we just go out and try to rebuild it, won't they get mad? At some schools, former members of the sports club sections held a lot of club over them, although astronomy fell under the culture club rules. Jerry Springer is real, bruh. Dude, I wish it were, because that would be so interesting. But, like, I heard that. Like, you know how they do it in front of, like, a live audience or whatever? I heard they basically, like, just give them cues and, like, tell them what to do. And they, like, exaggerate everything a lot. 100% real life. Okay. He is the father. That's, like, a thing for Mari. They're like, you are not the father. The supremely confident smile, where he may walk to the middle of the room and stood in front of the spherical, astrolable set conspicuously on the table. It was quite old looking, judging from the centered placement of the earth and the surrounding celestial bodies. Fluffy is the father. Dude, aren't I the father in our, like, um, our hentai warriors family? It's like, Marvel is the mom, I'm the dad. Yep. It appeared to be a decoration modeled on something from mm, Plomaic era. The dad or your dad? What? Watching Mari makes me feel so smart. Dude, watching any, rea any reality TV will make you feel like a genius or whatever. Because those people just do not have their lives together, like, at all. Or he may place her hand on it. I can shut them up. Please don't make me the dad. <laughs> I'm anything but a fatherly figure. <laughs> That's actually true. Saying this, she slowly spun the astrolable. The planets orbit around me is what she seemed to be saying. What the? Thank you, Wiggums, for the Twitch Prime subscription. Let's go! Thank you so much! Oh, I really appreciate it. I'm actually somewhat... Well, not, like, somewhat close, but I'm closer to getting the 25 subs emote thing, so let's go. Pog champ. 19 out of 25 sub points. <laughs> and once I get it, I'll never have to worry about getting 25 subs again, because then I can just have the 30 emote slot forever. She is 6'5 and scary. Wait, oh, you're Bob. <laughs> With these hands, I can alter the course of the planets themselves. So thank you again for the sub. I really appreciate that. And if you're not in my Discord server, you can go ahead and join, because then you can get my emotes. Or my emotes. Though I have to admit, I wasn't exactly sure what she was going for. This president. Akira seems to be a little taken aback. Okay. <laughs> yes, this is Jew. It was literally randomly generated like that. That was just, like, actually the Discord invite link. <laughs> but, like, everyone says that whenever I do the Discord command. <laughs> but everything went just like we practiced. They actually practiced for this. For the time being, I pretended not to notice Orihime's dedication to their performance and said, I see what you're saying, and I understand your motivation. <laughs> right then. But I don't think I can help you. I don't even do stargazing anymore. What do you mean? I'm still a member of the Astronomy Club. But it just sort of worked out that way. I've already decided not to look at the sky anymore. I tried to sound apologetic, but Orihime just stared at me with a confused look on her face. Which was expected. If someone in the astronomy club told me that they didn't look at stars, I'd do the same. So you're really the astronomer who never looks at the stars? What on earth does that mean? It seems to be what they call him at the, his school. Well, if you already know, there's no need to explain it again. So I guess, if that's all, I'd better get going. 
One girl I knew from high school is like six foot three, and one of my friends showed me a picture of her early today, and she gained like 100 pounds. What? <laughs> Since then, it is really just a large person. Meanwhile, her boyfriend in that pic is like five four and skinny. What in the? <laughs> is he Polish, dude? <laughs> this actually is so nuts. Holy shit. I wow. I really would not enjoy being a six foot three female. She single-handedly beat the Undertaker 35 times with her hands in some song. What? <laughs> no, like, I feel like even at 5'5", five five, I feel like taller than a lot of girls. Even though, like, I guess that's pretty much average, maybe a little bit over. Forever scared of that woman. <laughs> well, if you already know, I guess- oh, fine, you read this. And with that, I stood up and started to leave. Orihime suddenly grabbed my hand. It was softer than I could have imagined, and I froze in place. I don't know what terrible circumstances led you to bearing such an... such an accured n accursed name, but Orihime stared into my eyes. If you have ever looked into the stars, surely you must remember it. The fun chasing of the planets through the clear night sky, the joy of working out the principles of the heavens one by one. You're a short guy. How tall are you? Because I think... Short guys are only like if you're under like 5'10 or something. My dad is 5'7. My dad is like 5'9, but my mom's like 5'8, so then I came out to be like average, so I was like, okay, whatever. She's, she stared unmoving into my eyes as if she was reaching into my deepest memories. 5'8, no, that's not too bad. I <laughs> said, well, okay, I, don't, I wouldn't say 5'10 is like short. That's like average, right? And then like lower is. Okay, probably like 5'9 to 5'11 is average-ish. I don't really know guy heights. <laughs> and also, like, apparently it changes a lot based on, like, race and stuff. Like, I don't really know. Or, like, what part of the world you live in. 5'10 is short when you're 6 foot plus. <laughs> Dude, those, like, memes where it's, like, 5'11 versus, like, 6 feet tall are so funny. Like, I actually should find some of them. Because people are always, like, flaming me for, like, my taste in guys or whatever. They're like, oh, well, this is how you see 5'11 versus 6 feet. And I'm like, come on, bros. 5'2 <laughs> is the average, is it? <laughs> it was like seeing Kotaru get sad when Seiya wouldn't play with him. And I couldn't help but feel guilty. Oh, no, yeah, I was talking about height. <laughs> what do you think I was talking about? Well, I have to get to work. Un oh! Oh, I see. <laughs> Interesting. Able to bear it any longer, I just stood up to go. But this time it was Honoka who stopped me. <laughs> if it's alright with you, would you come to our next meeting? We'd like to keep your final decision on hold until then. Fine. <laughs> when I said that where he may seem to cheer up a bit, she even smiled a little. You absolutely must come. Promise you will. That smile was more persuasive than any ridiculous argument. I found myself nodding subconsciously. I don't know, bros. Who's who's the best girl so far? I'm 66 millimeters. I'm from America, so I don't know exactly <laughs> how long that is. <laughs> oh, it's the commuter wife. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hmm. Goodbye. The girl on her way home from Hoshino Daiichi waved. So I gave a little wave back. Who was that? I had no idea. Whoa, who's that girl? Seriously, she's like ridiculously cute. Her eyes are gorgeous. She's like a doll. Imagine being American. This meme was brought to you by Canadian gang. <laughs> oh, she's wearing a Saison uniform. 5 to 14. <laughs> Creative units only, please. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's why they call her the commuter wife. Wait, do we even have an astronomy club? I'd come, I'd come by so many times that I guess they remembered me now. Commuter wife. That's why they seem to be calling me. Canadians master race. <laughs> I mean, Canada. It, I guess it's a pretty cool place to live if you can deal with the cold, but. I don't think I can. I was born and raised in Dallas, Texas, so 
I'm too used to the, you know, 80 degree plus weather. They were saying something about a boyfriend too. I hope I'm not causing any trouble for you, Akito. Seeing this reminds me that I have visual novels that I still need to finish. Dude, I always have visual novels that I need to finish. I actually still need to finish Santa the Witch. But I'm like really close to being done with that, so I should probably just go ahead and get it out of the way. Just like the ones before, all the students on their way home looked my way. My dog stole my phone. <laughs> okay. I guess it was only natural since it was so rare for a girl wearing another school's uniform to be there. I got so embarrassed that I couldn't stand it anymore. I think I'll just go home. You pog champ, I spot some heterochromia. Yes! That's that's this girl. It's so cute. She used to be my uh my Osu and Steam avatar, I think. Feeling helpless, I looked down on the package in my hands. But he was really looking forward to this. So yeah, is that you? Huh? If she'd been smiling like that from the start, I never could have refused. I muttered, thinking back on Orihime's grinning face. The first impression was so creepy, but I guess I was really lucky. I couldn't really pay attention to the rest of her. She's a little older, so she's got a different kind of beauty compared to Seiya. Her boobs are bigger, too. Say so wouldn't be very happy if she knew I was using her as a basis of comparison, I thought to myself as I pedaled my bike through the school gate. Whenever I thought of Seiya, I thought of Odin. Oh, Seiya's Odin. I sighed like a lovesick child. It was just about time for work. My trip to Mako Academy took longer than planned, so I didn't have time to go by Seiya's house to pick up my Odin. I'd really been looking forward to tonight's banquet. By Odin's beard. <laughs> Man, thinking about that, Odin sure is making me hungry. Is my Discord poo poo? <laughs> Why do you say that? <laughs> Let me see. What's wrong with my Discord server? <laughs> I think they're talking about my my server, but I don't know. It's probably because I have like a bunch of uh Osu shit in there. <laughs> but yeah, it's because I'm an addict. Maybe I should have had a snug before I headed out. Huh. Uh, welcome back, Akito. Saya, what are you doing here? I mean, hi. I was waiting by the gate, but the club president brought me inside. She must have met the former president. Saya had met him before. You came and waited just for me. I told her beforehand that I had a sudden errand to run. Well, earlier you seemed so excited for it. Oh, you don't mean... With a little angelic smile, Saya picked up a package from a desk. Odin. Ta-da. You even brought it in the pot. I figured it'd be better heated up in this. You really are something. It must have been so heavy. You stood waiting in front of the school carrying this. Yep. You rode the bus with this in your lap. Of course. What would you do if you ran into wild Brit boys hunting wolves? <laughs> what? <laughs> in my mind's eye, it was such a surreal sight. It seemed more like she'd lost a dare or something. Thank you so much, Saya. <laughs> the impulse to hug her in gratitude was so strong, I had to struggle to keep it under control. After all of that work, it would have been a tragedy to spill the Odin. Speaking of, where the heck are you do what the heck are you doing here? I know where you look cute. Let's go. My really talented friend, Slime Drippy, aka Rudy, drew them for me and I was like, let's go. Don't what's up me, moron. What are you doing slipping in here to eat your noodles? Please. <laughs> Not just noodles, curry noodles. You know what I'm talking about. The food snatching bandit just stood there, poking at his phone and slurping up his ill gotten curry noodles. I'd been trying my best to ignore him, but the spicy aroma of these noodles ignited my appetite. I came in while I was waiting for you, and he said he was hungry. Is the Odin okay? I was actually fearful as I said that. Trust me, I protected it with my life. See, so I gave me a thumbs up. We nodded to each other like war buddies who'd survived all together. Seeing that, Tech hit. Takeichi slurped his curry noodles in protest. 
<laughs> this dog's book cooked enough. <laughs> the synergy of sound and the smell triggered my stomach like Pavlo Pavlov's bell. And by the way, those pearly noodles had been my emergency rations. Also, that jerk wasn't even in the astronomy club. He was just a mere basketball club member. <gasps> just a basketball club member. <laughs> Straight out of Nim. <laughs> yep, basically. So where'd you run off to? Oh, nowhere special. I rushed him off and started to change out of my uniform to get Freddy for work. Saya turned her back while I changed. <laughs> a KFC 12-piece bucket. What does that even look like? <laughs> I'm literally a vegetarian. I don't think I've ever been to KFC. Actually, no. I went one time at, like, one of the Texas meetups with, like, some of my friends and I got, like, a biscuit and potatoes. So, yeah. <laughs> Delicious. I wide. Okay. I see. <laughs> Didn't you go to Mako Academy? Saya said, still looking the other way. How did she know that? Your president said so. He said he asked you to go asked you to go to talk to some people at Mako's astronomy club. Absolute unit. <laughs> I made some vague agreement, trying to misdirect. I didn't want to get into it. Why the heck would you need to meet with the Mako Astronomy Club? And this concerns you how? Fair enough. But Saya looks like she wants to know. Saya's ears turned beet red and she shook her head back and forth. I couldn't see her face, but it was pretty clear she wanted to know who I'd met. It was no big deal. Have you ever heard of the Six Stars Club? The Six Stars? Hmm. Saying it over and over, Sia turned around with a thoughtful look on her face, just as I was taking off my pants. She turned bright red and whipped back around. No, I've never heard of it. <laughs> I finished changing my pants and hung up my uniform. It was a gathering of all the astronomy clubs in the city, apparently. They asked me to join it. Um, I gave Sia a rundown of what Orihime and Hanukkah told me. It really wasn't something I wanted to talk about, but with the pot full of Odin right in front of me, I couldn't refuse to say anything. So they've got that kind of group, huh? I had no idea. Me neither. Well, it did break up six years ago. After she heard my story, Saya opened her blue and orange eyes wide and stared at me. Has anything happened? Can I get a synopsis? Okay, so basically, um, they're... I guess this guy, Saya, and... What was the other girl's name? The pink-haired girl. Wait, what is this? Buy or no buy? Um, I'd say wait until it has more reviews. I'm not sure what this is. Oh my god, it's twenty dollars! What the? I'll look at it later. Actually, that looks pretty cute. But um, so basically, I guess what's happened so far is. I guess they were like really into like astronomy and stuff whenever they were kids and then they all ended up going to like different high schools I think and then like they still talk to each other and stuff, Saya and the main character but like the main character is like one of the only members of his astronomy club and I guess membership has been declining or something and he like the president of his astronomy club asked him to go meet that other girl and she was basically just saying oh we need to get more people in the six star club the, yeah, these are my knees. <laughs> I'm wearing pajamas right now, but yeah, those are my knees. I have like, I'm like, I have my feet in my chair right now. <laughs> so does this mean that you're going to look at the night sky again, Akito? L from Death Note, basically. Except he sits like on his feet. Like I'm sitting down normally, but my legs are just in my chair, I guess. <laughs> so it's not quite that uncomfortable. No way, I'm never looking up again. Oh, but they put my answer on hold. But at the next meeting, I plan to refuse outright. <laughs> the topic ended on an unpleasant note. Say's shoulders slumped a little in disappointment. Long sleeve shirt as pajamas, you heathen. Yeah, bro, it's cold. Like, what's the weather right now? Let me see. Um... Oh my god, it is 43 degrees! Do you see this? Like, come on, bro. It's cold. 
Fahrenheit, by the way. Oh, come on. <laughs> yes, it is cold in Texas. 43 degrees is really cold in Texas. So we have the heater on and stuff, and yeah. <laughs> Say his shoulder slumped in a little in disappointment. That's why I didn't want to talk about it, I thought to myself. Mine is 10 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't want to go to Canada, it's too cold there. <laughs> The slurping of Taikechi's curry noodles echoed in the silence. I silently reached out to take the cup from Taikechi's hand. He wouldn't let go, though. Just give me a little. Open your mouth, I'll feed you. Gross. Come on, don't you want some? Say, ah. Uh. Taikechi picked up some noodles with his chopsticks and reached toward me. You... Come on, don't be silly. You want some, don't you? <laughs> Dude, I know. <laughs> the music is pretty nice, but they they do this kind of thing in like a lot of different visual novels. The delectable spicy scent wafted from my nose. Uh as if. I ripped the cup of chopsticks from Taikichi's hand. Don't eat it all. Hey, quit it. I thought you were just taking a little. And <laughs> not like six ten girls. <laughs> I scarfed down nearly all the noodles before Takechi could snatch them back. Oh man, there's hardly any left. I smiled, feeling victorious while chomping my mouth full of noodles. That's what you get for being creepy. I was just messing with you. Takechi picked up the leftover noodles and bits of chopstick meat stuck to the cup. He actually looked kind of sad. Takechi drank the last of the sauce and smacked his lips. He threw the cup and chopsticks away. Hmm, that was good. Don't give me that look. I'll bring you another cup tomorrow. Takeshi stood up and stretched. What happened to his hair? What happened to his hair? <laughs> Just when I thought he was leaving, he stopped. Hmm. You know, you really should let go of Hikari. What? What's she got to do with anything? Why'd you go and bring her up now? Wait, what? Oh, okay, she disappeared. Was I like AFK whenever that happened or something? Because I don't even remember. Hearing about that. Oh, I don't know. It just looks like it's not like brushed out or anything. <laughs> Everything around, everyone around here knows it, man. Isn't her disappearance the reason you stopped stargazing? It's been four years already. You need to think about yourself and about the people close to you now, don't you think? I thought he had jail. <laughs> Come here a minute. Where are we going? Just a small bathroom break. I pulled him out to the hallway. And then let go of his arm. What's the matter with you? Bringing up crap like that out of nowhere. It wasn't out of nowhere. It's got to do with the astronomy club, doesn't it? We're going to have a falling out at this rate. It's just so messed up. This astronomer who never looks at the stars crap. Am I friends with you people? I don't know. It's a good question. <laughs> just forget it. It's my problem. <laughs> it's not like he was the one they were talking about. When he saw how upset I was, he gave a little sigh. Sometimes, seeing you like this just bothers me as well. I was out of line though, sorry. It's fine. I could see why it bothered him, and I knew he was just trying to help. I had a lot of friends who tried to help me. I should be grateful. I still owe you a lot. I just thought maybe I could pay you back. Sorry. I said it's fine. I don't remember you owing me anything. As far as I'm concerned, it's the other way around. The only reason I'm able to do anything is you. If we started counting up who owes who, it'd surely come up even. We grinned at each other and bumped fists. If anyone had seen, we'd have died from embarrassment. I'm going to hit the toilet. Say's probably getting worried. Could you go back for a minute? She probably thought we were beating each other silly or something. She's such oh. a worrywart. Sure thing. I left Takechi behind and headed for the toilet. <laughs> what? You guys are nuts. <laughs> When I got back, Taikichi was nowhere to be seen. Where's Take? He said he had after-class practice, so that's why he wanted to fill up. Not to mention, it looked like he was up to become the starter next year. I hope our basketball club will be alright. You two really are close, aren't you? I'm a little jealous. Hmm. Sometimes I wish I'd been born a boy. 
who translated this and thought the word "wart" was the perfect word? That's a good question because they make a lot of like questionable translations. I mean, not that I like speak Japanese and would like be translating this myself or anything, but some of the stuff comes off as like a little bit awkward. I like to get to fight over Robin with you sometimes too. This is so sad. Konnichiwa. -wa. A loss to humanity. And anyway, knowing you, even if you'd been born a boy, you'd just share everything anyway and never fight over it. You're probably right. Stan nodded seriously with a I hadn't thought of it like that look on her face. It was kind of funny. While she waited for me, Saya had been in the dark looking at the telescope we had set up in the room. I set it up every day to make sure it stayed in good shape. Oh my wamu shindiru. Nice. It was a refracting telescope with an 8 centimeter aperture. After the president retired, it hadn't been used once though. By now, it was already getting dark outside the window. You know, this should be visible soon. I'll be real with that is. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> when I said this, Saya turned to me with a surprised look. No, I'm fine. I don't want to look without you, Aki. For some reason, I suddenly got embarrassed, but I couldn't look at her. Maybe you should stop calling me that. Isn't it embarrassing? <laughs> it's nice every once in a while. The teasing tone in Saya's voice made it even more embarrassing. Well, I'd better get back to work. I'll take you back. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, imagine seeing the commuter wife at this time of day. It's my lucky day. I got my bike and came to the gate. I found Saya already there, surrounded by older students going home after practice, all pretending to pray to her. What is this? <laughs> oh man, Steve Harvey. I haven't thought about this guy in forever. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Bye, commuter wife. Goodbye. Woohoo, she answered me. Do you know her? Not at all, I think. And yet, Saya had replied so sincerely. It was too funny and too cute. I got on my bike and Saya climbed onto the cargo rack sitting uh, side, well, side saddle. So I guess people call me commuter wife here. Saya said and peeked at my face to see how I reacted. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, seems that way. Oh, Eternal Osu, what's up? I'm streaming it, uh, what's it called? A Sky Full of Stars. It is a an SFW visual novel. Because I got flame to do via stream, again. She had visited our school so many times that the name had become permanent. It was only natural that someone in another school's uniform would stand out, and with the way Saya looked, it was inevitable. And since she usually showed up with food, the unfortunate name commuter wife just stuck. I stayed quiet about it because I thought she didn't like it, but looking at her now, I wasn't so sure. Hold on tight, don't let go. Got it. You could never ask Saya to be too careful since she had the coordination of a drunk ox. SMH just call me a turtle. Okay, I'm I'm trolling when I see eternal osu. <laughs> That's what they call everybody. I'm like, uh what up? Like whoever Osu. <laughs> like it just sounds more funny whenever you add Osu to somebody's name. Whenever people call me Lily Osu. <laughs> My name's Alfred. What's up, Alfred? You can never ask Saya to be too careful since she had the coordination of a drunk ox. Saya wrapped her arms around my waist and I slowly began to pedal. I quickly passed the other students walking home after their clubs. Saya was light. I barely noticed her sitting in right behind me. 
As we picked up the speed, the wind cooling down as the sunset started to hit us. So cold. Maybe without thinking, Saya pressed her body up against my back. It warmed me up. Winter's coming, isn't it? Yep, Odin season. It'll be so good, the flavors won't let up. Pecan cheese stick. Hi, pecan cheese stick. <laughs> my recommendation is to start with the potatoes, then the honyaku, and then some octopus. So I counted off the ingredients on her fingers. Oh man, no more. Just listening to you is making me hungry. Really? I guess you're really excited for it. Definitely. Stars began to twinkle in the twilight sky. Winter was right upon us. I approached the aging streetlights, their feeble light nearly drowning by the overwhelming darkness. On the dark country night, only one single building still held back the dark with dazzling light. The Stop and Buy, also known as Mikazuki's Castle That Never Sleeps. Or at least, when this place was still on the southeastern border of Mikazuki Village, someone called it that. The Satomi Stop and Buy stayed open until 10 p.m. Back then, the village shops usually closed at 6 or, at the very latest, 8 at night. It was dark at night, so when the villagers first grazed, gazed upon that stop and buy sign glowing in the defiance of the laws of nature, how they must have been shuddered. By the way, you need more than 100 bucks for something that's not a yeti. Yeah, I know, but like, I'm, I'm just like putting a donation goal for 100 bucks. That's not gonna be like, I'm gonna put like some of my other like streaming money. Yeah, I'm putting like, well, you know, I get like paid like from subscriptions and like bits and stuff, so I was gonna put money from that towards it also. I can get you a gorilla for like 20 bucks. <laughs> okay. They said it hurtled. They. They. Oh, they said it heralded the coming of civilization to Tiny Mikazuki Village. People will believe what they will. Since then, Mikazuki Village had been submerged under the new reservoir. The rest of the village had become part of Hoshinoka City. Like, okay, so basically, I don't get paid at all, Pepega. <laughs> oh, lucky. But, no, like, I guess usually I'll make between, like, probably about, like, 50 to $100 a month off of, like, streaming. So... Like, I used some of my other money to, like, upgrade my webcam. And then, yeah, I'm, like, saving some of the other stuff so I can get a mic. And then I put a donation goal, so if I get $100, I'd, like, definitely be able to get it. I need help with my same. Yeah, you don't have to make... Don't you have to make at least 100 before you can get your money as an instant affiliate? Yeah, and it stays that way. Like, they only pay you after every $100 you get. So, like, if you make, like, only $50 in one month, you basically have to wait, uh like two months to get paid you can you can have her for five dollars and some shifts too <laughs> even still people remembered the old name nice hey twenty dollars is bad i was that was probably because of Mikazuki villagers pride in their symbol of civilization of course the convenience store stores along the coastal highway are all open 24 hours I was alone in the shop, sitting on the stool behind the register, poking at my phone. Yeah, like, okay, so I tried to, yeah, technically it is zero dollars until you make five times that, I guess. But, yeah, like, I try to put all the money I make off of streaming into, like, uh, back into, like, my stream. Because, I don't know, I feel bad, like, taking money from people who, like, watch me play games and stuff, because I just think of it as, like, I don't know, having fun or whatever. I know a guy who started his career nutting on Gundams, now he owns one of the biggest Discord servers. Nice! <laughs> for hardworking students, our late hours could be a real blessing, but for me it was terribly boring. In the late evening, customers only came in sporadically after trains arrived in the station. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> An astronomy club that, stays, that stayed active outside of school, huh? That sounds so cool. It went on for over 30 years, apparently. Wow, you should totally do it. I'm not, for reasons. What reasons? I I decided I'm not gonna look at the stars anymore. Why? Tell me. 
I mean, you are still in the astronomy club, right? It's just that some stuff happened way back. I want to get back into streaming, but after taking like a one year break, I don't have any years anymore, so it's kind of depressing streaming for like one or two years. I mean, like, I don't know, sometimes I'll stream for like basically nobody, and like, even whenever there's like nobody in my chat, I'm just still like talking to myself basically. Like, I don't know, like way back in the day, usually it would just be like basically me talking to myself, and then like maybe one or two people coming in my chat occasionally to say hi. I don't know. Like, yeah, it does suck streaming whenever there's like nobody in your chat, like for sure, because it feels like you're just talking to yourself basically. But at the same time, I guess you like kind of have to get used to that because if you're just like relying on like stuff that people say in your chat, that it's like, I don't know. You usually have to be the one to come up with stuff to say or people won't like actively say stuff in your chat, I guess. And whenever you are constantly talking, <laughs> then I guess people like, talk to you more? I don't really know how to explain it. It's kind of weird. But yeah, like, I don't know. I guess the way, like, you should think about streaming if you're like not a huge streamer is just like, do it for yourself and don't care about numbers too much because otherwise you probably won't be super happy. I mean, I usually don't get more than like 10 viewers anyway, so it's like, whatever. Oh, there it is, youthful angst. Oh, yeah. Oh, dang. Yeah, I've never averaged, like, 20 viewers. I think my average right now is about 10. But, I mean, it depends on, like, what time I'm streaming and stuff. Like, if I'm streaming super late, it... Yeah, actually, usually if I stream super late, it's more because if I'm streaming OC, there's, like, nobody else streaming, so they're just like, oh, whatever. I can't read that Japan. Oh, sorry. They're, like, they're saying it right here. Come on, tell me all your troubles. Spill it. Spill it. Spill it. I don't my followers doing that. None of them want to watch me play the things I play now. You gotta get more active chatters. You get more active chatters than most, though, IMO. Maybe. But, like, I mean, I don't know if it's just because, like, I have, like, a bunch of friends who are just like, oh, hey, what up? Or if it's just because, I, like, I talk a bunch. I don't really know. <laughs> and then I think another thing is, like, I play Osu, and then there's not a lot of females who play that, and then people are like, oh my god, a female plays this game. And I'm like, yes, let's go. I'm sure of how I should answer. I looked up from my phone. Since that's a very, uh, male-dominated community, to say the least. I guess Miss Kamako wasn't even her real name. She was just an office worker living in some big city somewhere. We met a while back online. A little personality if I'm watching- Personally, if I'm watching a stream and the chat's dead, I'll just talk to whoever I'm watching since I know how dead- How dead chat feels, dude, true. That's actually, like, a lifesaver. Like, even just having one person in your chat makes, like, such a difference. Okay, well, I think you're cool, so that's why I'm here. Let's go, I think you're too- You're cool too, Eternal. Let's go. Sometimes, when she gets tired of adulting, we kill time together like this. How did they come to the conclusion that they should translate it like that? Jesus. I turned my eyes to a single customer in the shop. He still hasn't moved. Old Man Champ has still been standing in- has been standing in front of the magazine rack since before I looked down at my phone, and he apparently hadn't moved a muscle. When I was younger, I always wanted to become a streamer, but last time I streamed, some guy named Will was laughing like a seagull. <laughs> He was as still as a hunting crane. <laughs> Old man champ moved. It looks like he's dedicated- d Oh, decided on the evening's entertainment. Old man champ reached out and took a magazine from the rack, then turned toward the register. And then, hey now, don't be on your phone during working hours. A youngish woman came out from back of the shop. When you meet someone after dark, the customary greeting is good evening. Didn't you learn that at school? In fact, didn't I teach you that? Say, kids these days. Complaining under her breath, Ms. Miharu took a pork bun from the warming box by the register. I forgot where I heard this, but it's crazy that kids are looking up to popular streamers and saying that they want to do that when they grow up. That actually is crazy. I mean, like, I guess... I understand the appeal, but at the same time, I don't think it's ever anything that people should want to do, like, long-term, necessarily. I don't really know. I mean, it's, like, definitely fun to do, but doing it, like, professionally, I feel like that would take some of the fun out of it, probably. 
My old teacher stared at my outstretched hand like she had something to say to it. You know, this is my family shop. Yes, but my manager told me that under no circumstances was I to feed there, and I quote, deadbeat daughter for free. Miharu reached into their pocket and took out some coins. Think you're better than me just because you've got a job. With the expression of a heart-wrenching grief, heart grief, she placed 180 yen on the counter. But the next ninja- wait, what would be the next ninja but for Apex Legends? <laughs> I don't know if you guys should, but honestly- wait, what? I don't okay, if you guys watch Shroud, but I honestly feel like he's depressed- oh no, I don't watch him. I feel like he's so sick of what he's doing, but that's his job. That's probably true for like a lot of them though, honestly. Like, it's kind of sad, but I mean, once you're in that position, it's like you didn't, you probably didn't go to school or like have a, I guess a, another job for a really long time. So it's probably hard to get back into like the real world. So you're kind of trapped there. Expression of a heart-wrenching grief, she placed 180 yen on the counter and included two five yen coins. Would you like your receipt? I wouldn't even want to wipe myself with your stupid receipt. She slowly walked back to the shop seating area and, reading a newspaper someone had left, began eating her bought and paid for pork bun. When, me when Miss Miharu had gone, Old Man Champ snuck out of his hiding place behind a magazine rack and fearfully made his way to the register. What can I do for you? The old man blushed faintly as he laid out down two magazines. The first was a popular young men's comic, Champ Comics. The second was carefully hidden underneath. His evening entertainment turned out to be huge breasted housewives, apparently. That was 1,040 yen out of 1,100. Using my months of register skills, I quickly scanned the magazines and slipped them smoothly into a paper bag in one motion. Oh, well, that was him scanning the magazines. That looked like those half human, half goat people. Those exist. Is there a bomb in there? No. <laughs> it's just him scanning something. That's 60 yen and change. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Huge breasted housewives. Yep, sounds good. Old Man Champ, apparently relieved by my skill and service, left the shop with an air of satisfaction. Sorry, Old Man Champ came by. What does that mean? He's this old guy who always comes in and buys a nudie mag whenever I'm working. He hides it under a Champ comics each time, so I call him Old Man Champ. <laughs> OMG, that's hilarious. Old Man Champ shows his raunchy books with all the intensity of a pubescent teenager who just discovered them. But I didn't mean to make fun of him. Not at all. His pension allowed him just one magazine. That'd make anyone choose carefully indeed. Oh hey, Miss Miharu. What happened with that room that we talked about? You know, or you can just use like the internet like everybody else. But I guess he's like older, so whatever. Oh, you're out of his place. Yeah, that was no good. You know, you'll never find a place on your own to live at your age. If something happened, no one would want to take responsibility. She kept reading the paper as she spoke. I see. Thank you for checking. I gave up acting like I had known before I asked. I guess I'll try somewhere else. Dad always says that age is just a number. I guess to an extent that's true, but depends on what the reason is for saying that. There just aren't any places for kids to live on their own in a town like this. There are places over by the coast. You're the only one that said rent would be too expensive over there, aren't you? Why don't you just give up this and go home? There's an aesthetic to physical moods, my dudes. Is there? I've never really, like, had any experience with that. <laughs> Jail is just a room. I knew that was coming. <laughs> you know, if the manager heard you say that, she'd throw you out for good. When I said this, she put down the newspaper and turned my way. She looked at me with an odd expression on her face. I'm saying this because I'm worried about you. Her tone of voice did sound like she was worried about me, and I started regretting my teasing. But really, you don't need to. If you keep up like this, they're gonna make you marry me, you know. Huh? What? Was that what we were talking about? Mother loves you like her own flesh and blood. You work hard, you're conscientious, 
She says she thinks you could even- you could leave the whole shop- she could leave the whole shop to you someday. Um... It wasn't I your first love. I had experience with physical needs and it was just underwhelming. <laughs> Understandable. I mean, yeah, like, we literally grew up in the age of the internet, so it's like, going from that to anything different is probably, like, not ideal. I guess she heard that somewhere. And now that you're looking for a place to stay, she's been she's been talking about you becoming her son-in-law. It's not that I mind, really. It'd be great to get a hold of a young, fresh husband and just be able to lay around at home all day. Wait, so how many kids do you want? Let's make our own soccer team. Yeah, I was pretty much in a band with the internet for a long time. Oh, because of parents or something? Now, where to begin with all of this? What about... My first love. Who told you that? Oh no. Don't get all worked up. It's really common, you know. It's a mistake. She just eagerly said that for fun. This Mihari just sat there with a smug look on her face. But anyway, if you really thought you were my first love, why do you work so hard every day to ruin that? Meanwhile, I hear stories about ten-year-olds. Ten years, people ten years older than us jacking off into Sears catalogs. Yep, Sears, Sears die. <laughs> oh, that's unlucky. What was it about me that planted the first seeds of romance? What did you like best? Nothing, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to run the shop, and I especially don't want to get married. I just want to find a place to live. I only did it the game in formerly three times. Isn't that the GameStop magazine? We literally used to have a subscription to that. Ooh, back in the day. Back in my Call of Duty days. Oh, is that so? Too bad. I thought I found my meal ticket. <laughs> it was like the one tiny bit of hope that I had in life dis and my life disappeared in an instant. I used to play COD. I was really into like Modern Warfare 3, and then I also played Black Ops 2 a lot. And, uh, I didn't really- no, not COD 2, but also, recently I got COD- f or Black Ops 4, but fucking nobody has it, so I've literally played it, like, two hours, even though I spent $40 on it. Like, okay, it's not as bad as it could have been, because I think it's usually, like, $60 or something, and I got it on sale. Wait, you have it? <sighs> Fuck. I can't remember if you've told me that before or if I'm just now finding this out, but dude, if you have it, we actually need to play it. Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the Battle Royale mode, that's how I got it. I heard that it's like way better than any of the other Battle Royales, and I've played like a couple of times, but literally like nobody has it, so I have to like, there's like one guy who has it who will play it with me, but yeah. Yin has that game, do you want to play with him? Sure, I don't care, <laughs> I play games with like whoever. And if you do, dude, I actually need to create a uh, Black Ops 4 role in my server so I can ping people when I want to play. <laughs> you have, oh, Black Ops 4, I think? As I was breaking out in a cold sweat, I heard Kotaru's voice from outside. Wait, you do, actually? Okay. Nice? That's, that's actually good. Because I only know one guy who has the game, and he's like, oh, you should get it, we're gonna play Battle Royale all the time. And I was like... Okay, and then now you've just been playing CSGO a bunch instead of playing Battle Royale. Because, like, it's just us two who have it, so. Gin likes glasses. I do too, they help me see. Through the glass, he looked at me with pleading eyes. It's a little early, but I guess I'd better take him up for his walk. Miss Mihari, can you watch the shop? Sure thing. She answered without enthusiasm, or didn't even- Or didn't even looking up from the paper. I think that's worded incorrectly. She answered without enthusiasm, without looking up from the paper, but since she did answer, I figured it was okay. If you want to play today, let me know. I'm staying up all day since I've been staying up too late over break and need to fix the schedule. I actually... Hmm. I'm trying to decide if I should go to sleep at like 5am and wake up at 10 whenever I have my match. Or if I should just stay up until 10 when I have my match and then go to sleep. I took off my apron and put on my jacket. See you in a bit. Wait, what's with this newspaper? It's from last month. Watching her from the corner of my eye, as the shock of the realization destroyed her concentration and made her throw the paper in anger, I hurried out. Well, are you trying to ink your match or not? 
I'm trying to not int, preferably. But at the same time, I think this is an inevitable int because we're the, like, okay, so for ESF, we're number 28 out of 32. 1v1 me and Dark Souls 3. I've never played Dark Souls. <laughs> Don't get too worked up, okay? You'll make the neighborhood. Taking Kotaru for, my, for his evening walk was also part of my job. I usually did uh, for closing, but sometimes I'd go... I'd go earlier if Miss Meharry was there to take over. Thanks, buddy. You saved me back there. He'd gotten me out of a conversation I did not want to go any deeper into. It seemed like there was a conspiracy brewing against me while I wasn't looking. A cold sweat rolled down my back. It honestly made me happy that the manager liked me that much, and I was grateful. Go to bed at 5. Yeah, that's actually true. I'll stream this for- Dude, I did not play the map either. Shit! Should I- Should I even look? Fuck. Um. Enigmatic Snow Festival. Dude, we're actually fucked, honestly. Uh, because I'm gonna be sight reading first off. We're tier one, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, I know some of these. Wait! I actually. Oh, uh, wait, no, never mind. That's not the map that I thought it was. Okay, I know uh, Hoshino, Kodama. I think I know Move That Body, but that's hidden, so I'm not playing it. Um, I don't know either of the hard rocks, but one of them's like Little's Diff, so it shouldn't be hard. Tori no Uda. What? I actually love this song. Wait, CS 6.5 and free mod, let's go! Oh, it's DT, never mind. <laughs> Play something hard, like some metal. Like Metallica or something? Okay, uh. Karen's sudden death. Two primary songs. Perthed again! Wait, let's fucking go! I love this map! I think I have an FC on this, or... Okay, no, it was a different difficulty. Um... Prism Symphony. Uh... Oh, I have a decent score on this with Hard Rock, actually. Well, not decent, but I like... 1100 combo? Which is like, I guess that's okay. Um, yeah, but basically, we're fucked. Some Slayer. <laughs> Wait, y'all want me to turn off the V in music and put on some fucking heavy metal at like four in the morning? <laughs> but jumping all the way to Son in Law was a bit much. I guess I only had my rather fuzzy situation to blame. Wait, the pom pom, wait, 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 pom pom, wait, pom, wait, pom pom. Are you talking about that song? <laughs> Then there was the Six Stars Club. All that stuff that Taikechi talked about was stuck in the back of my mind too. All these different things got so tied up together that I couldn't make heads or tails of what I should do. I stopped walking and walked walking and looked up at the sky. Guys. Unironically, I kind of like this song. <laughs> so I don't even get mad whenever people send it to me. Among them, near the apex of the sky, I saw four bright stars making a quadrilateral. These last few years, it's gotten really bright around here. Even the autumn squares look pale. Yeet. It was also known as this great square of Pegasus, one of the great signs of autumn. These second magnitude stars now appeared as faint as the third or fourth magnitude. Stop song early? <laughs> I'll play it quietly. Oh my god, but there's other music playing. Yeah, that sounds weird. Okay, never mind. One of the great signs of autumn, these second magnitude stars now appeared as faint as the third or fourth magnitude. <laughs> as the street lights grew brighter, the stars were washed from the night sky. They end up looking darker. The night sky I had watched as a little boy was much brighter. The stars, huh? <laughs> 
If you've ever looked at the stars, surely you must remember. The fun of chasing the planets through the clear night sky, the joy of working out the principles of the heavens one by one. When she looked right into my eyes like that, I couldn't speak, because I felt like I knew. Who else is a 40-year-old virgin? <laughs> I see. <laughs> Those eyes, eager with the light of the heavens, that had found its way into our young hearts, pure and clean as the winter sky. My chest grew tight and I couldn't breathe, so I lowered my gaze. I wanted to forget it all and move on, but I kept re retracing those old steps. Sudden beneath the starry sky, I suddenly felt afraid and started walking again. Kotaru looked ahead and suddenly started barking. Oh, this is the girl! A young woman was coming from the other direction. She stared at her smartphone and mumbled something. Hmm, what's going on with this thing? I could see a strained expression on her face in the light of the screen. She had well-defined lovely features. She looked about my age, but I didn't know her. What could she be doing here at this time of night? Hey, quiet down. Sorry about that. Kotaru wagged his tail and started to jump, so I pulled him back and tried to get him to settle down. This is just a crotch shot? Oh, pretty much. <laughs> if I had been a stranger, he would have been afraid and wouldn't have moved. Yep, that's her. Just then, we can hear the creak and rattle from the rails, signaling a train coming from the far off in the distance. This game again, my bad, that's not game. Yeah, oh, well it's not a manga, it's like a visual novel. Also, what's up, my dude? Oh crap, if I miss that one, I'll have to wait for an hour. And having said that, she took off running. Like some kind of sports car. She hit top speed immediately and blew past me like the wind. This is Hikari, I think. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> she was off. Her ponytails trailing behind her as she raced off to catch the arriving train. I watched her fading shape, dumbstruck, and then looked at Kotaru. she a friend of yours? Well, if she used the station often, it was only natural for her to know Kotaru. Looking in the direction she had to run, I muttered to myself. She was like a comet. The way she flew through the night, her ponytails trailing behind her, like an ionized, like ionized gas and dust reminded me of a twin tail comet. Oh boy. Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? What the Civil Defense. I see. <laughs> I'm back. Welcome back and great work today. Be careful heading home. Oh god. The title really says rape. I'm not listening to that. <laughs> as soon as I got back to my room, I switched on my electric heater. The weather forecast said tonight would be as cold as the end of December. I set up my cartridge stove, and next to that, my portable camp stove, and turned on the fire. I put Saya's pot of Odin on the cartridge stove, and on the camp stove, a can of roast chicken. It's really delicious if you open the can and scorch the top a little. I also had three rice balls we were going to throw out at the shop. I was lucky. Today they had some salmon filled ones left. And that was my dinner. So hungry. As the chicken ju juices started to scorch and put out a delicious smell, my stomach started rumbling, but I still had some time before the Odin warmed up. Oh, better watch out. Starting the steam Watching the steam starting to rise, I remembered the telescope I left in the corner of my room. Eating spoiled rice balls with fish in them. <laughs> Can't relate. I've never had fish or any other kind of like meat in my life. Wister was the great enemy of lenses. I guess I'd better put it away. Even though I'd gone through all the trouble of cleaning it up, it was going back in its case without being used. It'd be nice if next year we got a member who'd actually use you, huh? Spoiled fish is one of the worst smells. I don't think fish in particular smells good at all. 
Jin's hideaway. Okay. I'm in. Everyone's named Jim. Okay, let's go. The reason I was in the astronomy club wasn't because I wanted to look at the stars. I was in it because I could stay in the room. The astronomy club had plenty of outdoor goods. And for its purposes of astronomical observation, it was easy to get permission to stay overnight. What? Should I leave? <laughs> of course, if I'd said that was my reason for joining, I never would have gotten permission. Okay. VC! <laughs> I feel like if I join, y'all are gonna say something that's gonna get me banned. <laughs> I don't know. Mock S, this is what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> I can join for a second after I end my stream. But right now, I feel like there's gonna be someone who screams something that gets me permed. <laughs> of course, if I'd said that was my reason for joining, I never would have gotten permission. I was invited by the president. He told me if the club didn't get any new members, it was in danger of being closed. When I asked if it was okay to sleep in the club room, he said of course, and as someone with astronomy experience, I was a welcome addition. Also, what's up, Red Moss? And so, they started calling me the astronomer who never looks at the stars. I turned off the camp stove with the canned chicken and dug a book out of the pile of stuff under the corner. Oh, wow, look. A beginner's guide to astronomy. It was an astronomy book for kids, yellowed with age and torn in several places. I opened the book and a letter fell from between its pages. No problem, I'll probably get kicked or something, but it's all good. <laughs> it was held closed with a cute little bunny sticker. I'd gotten it four years earlier. Yo, where can I cop these bunny stickers? <laughs> I actually have some like that, I think. They're like, mm. They're like up here somewhere. I don't know. But I have like a little, oh wait, here they are. Look, <laughs> they're like, they're kind of like those. They're cute though, I don't know. Never opened it. You know, you really need to let go of Hikari. I don't need to read it, just because of what Taki said. Feeling an unpleasant sweat break out on my forehead, I gathered up my resolve in just then. Huh, it's from Kamako. What's this? Oh, please. This is gonna be like her, like, armpit or something. <laughs> this is the oldest trick in the book. It seemed a little down in the dumps, so here's the little present. Is that her cleavage? And there was so much. Yeah, it's her arm. Kamaku's boobs are huge. It was a picture of a woman's cleavage. And though I felt a little guilty, I also thought of how Orihime's were probably about the same size. So this was a grown woman. Such a simple gift. Such a simple gift. Such a simple gift. Such a bold gift. Or was this just what people do in the big city? Still clutching my phone, my hands started to tremble. Just as they had when they were clutching that four year old own, own open letter. Perhaps even more. What's wrong? You're not answering me. It's kind of embarrassing. Oh, wait. Do you prefer itty bitties? You should have said something earlier. Thank you so much. You really cheered me up. LOL, you're so honest, how cute. I had the feeling I had been trying to decide something very important, but that was all gone. I was in such a good mood, and to top it off, the pot of Odin started to bubble. Wait, is that- did she actually? Oh, okay. Dude, I know, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> and returned to the book- and returned the book to its place and then sat on my bed as if nothing had happened. I opened the lid and steam billowed out. The room was filled with a cloud of steam. Radishes, potatoes, fish cakes, cabbage rolls, octopus, and so much more. The ingredients glinted golden and wet with the soup through its, the steam. The pot was like an overflowing treasure chest. Oh hey, what's up Seymour? How are you doing? Time to eat. I offered up my thanks to Seiya for bringing it to me and her family for making it and grabbed my chopsticks. Oh, this radish is so good and the potatoes are so tender. It was such a cold evening, the first touch of winter was in the air. 
The hot pot of Odin, the flavor seeping deep in every bite, warmed my body and soul. You've been lying to us this whole time anyway. Our planetary observation journal was in terrible shape, just like us. From that day on, I could no longer look at the stars. What the? We made no pricey telescope binoculars for all our motto. <laughs> Test? Oh wait, your color's different now. What the? What's up, Cypress? And so, what do you say? And so all of this is kind of, well... Ah. The president of the Moro Misawa Technical Institute's Astronomy Club was dressed in a black uniform coat with a high collar. Whoa, one second. Yeah, I like to switch up my color every week or so. You've had um, orange as your color for like a long time though, right? He spoke with a gentle apologetic tone that didn't match his expression. <laughs> How are you doing? What's your opinion on Ar Arnold Palmer humans? Uh, no thoughts. But really, it's out of the question. Not a chance. The girl with the harsh voice on shaking ponytails was Nishihai's club president. Oh dear. <laughs> Listening to their objections, the pair from Mako Academy, the club president was the club president from Amahai, and I stared at the papers in our hands. <laughs> Or like switch colors when I feel like it. Also, thank you for the follow, Nair. After hours, thank you for the follow, H Dog. There was a scent of danger in the air. How did we end up here again? Thirty minutes earlier. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for coming. I'm genuinely pleased to be able to meet with so many others who share our love for astronomy. Or he may look hopefully at each of us. She was celebrating the auspicious first meeting of the newly revived Six Stars Club. Shall we start by having each school's representative introduce themselves? Alright then. What the... Ah! <laughs> Thank you for the Sorry, $20. Oh, deep. it's okay. <laughs> I really appreciate it though. Thank you so much. We wanted to say sorry to our boy again, and he asked us to follow. Aw. <laughs> All good. Thank you so much though. I really appreciate that. Alright then. I shall start. I'm a third year and the former president of the Mako Academy Astronomy Club. Orihime Shiratori of Taigeta. A quiet round of applause rose. I'm Honoka, a first year and current club president here at Mako. Yes, what's, what's the emote? Visky 11 love, Visky 11 heart. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There's the world's worst tier 2 sub emote. <laughs> Everyone likely. Everyone likely already knew them both, and their response felt reversed. Ah, uh, but still, thank you again so much for the $20. I appreciate that so much. At Urahime's urging, the girl next to her stood up. Um, I'm Amanonaka Astronomy Club President, Mariko Kano of Electra. Oh, and I'm second year. Nice to meet you. She was obviously quite nervous. Amanonaka, known as Amahai, is a public school on the very southern edge of Hoshinonaka City, in what used to be Amanonaka City. It was on the newly developed- whoa. EST... What? What is this? What? The chaser satellite is a main satellite body named Hikoboshi? What? Smaller target satellite was named Orihime, like the- oh, like the character? What is this talking about, though? <laughs> it was on the newly developed Seabird side of town, and although it was a public school, it had a me metropolitan atmosphere that all the young people in town found really attractive. Even the uniform had a sophisticated, stylish look. Speaking of, according to what Hanukkah had said, 
few days earlier, Amma High's astronomy club had only one member, just like ours. Which would, of course, make her the sole member. The president from Amma High sat down with a relieved expression, and the next person stood. I'm the Earth Science Club president at Amanonaka Nishi High, and I'm... What's it again? Oh, that's right. I'm Naru Gino of Alcone... Alkion Sakamir High. The club president from Amanonaka Nishi High School, usually known as Nishi High, gave a casual greeting. The way she looked around at everyone, whipped her ponytails without a trace of timidity, gave everyone the feeling that she was not one to compromise. She had used the name Earth Sciences Club, but in lots of schools, astronomy and earth sciences are combined. Oh, it's a Japanese satellite, so I guess that's where they like, got her name from, maybe? <laughs> soda F1, Soda F2. <laughs> Actually, in some so-called Earth Sciences clubs, they only did astronomy. Although, I didn't know if that was the case in Nishi High. Just like Daiichi, it was perfectly normal public. It was a perfectly normal public school. But from what Hanukkah said, it once had the most active group of all. Had she said it once had as many as 36 members. Naruya's intense confidence might have something to do with that history. After her, a large muscular boy in a long black school coat stood up. I'm Keisuke of Seleno, president of the Mor Moromisawa Technical Institute Astronomy Club. Second year, thank you for having me. Nice cat ears. <laughs> Dude, I've been getting flamed to do cat ear stream forever. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> the club president from the vocational boys school, Murami Sawa Technical, usually called Murami, gave an enthusiastic spirit club style introduction. Murami was on the north edge of what now what is now Hoshinanaka City, and what used to be Hoshina City. It was so far away that I didn't know much about it. Now I just need to show your crib. I could, but it's so messy. Do you know De Decon? What? No. What's that? Is it like a game or something? He has some legendary cat girl screws, really. Who, who is this? Yeah, I think if I ever did that, I would be like, ultimate sellout. <laughs> Mormi was on the north edge of what is now Hoshinonaka City, and what used to be Hoshino City. It was so far away that I didn't know much about it. Just judging by first impressions, he didn't really seem to be the astronomy type. In fact, his build seemed more suited for playing center on the basketball team. My favorite constellation is Orion. I find his strength inspiring. For some reason, he blushed as he spoke. Oh, I agree. The constellation's shape is clear and beautiful. Yeah, it's a nice one, but honestly, it's for amateurs. And just as he se and just as it seems, some conversation was starting off. All eyes turned on me, the only one left. Um, as I stood up and started to introduce myself, I suddenly wanted to make it as short as possible. It's not like I was nervous or anything. It's just that something had started to bother me. Taigeta, Electra, Alcon. What the hell were they talking about? I'm only a first year, but I'm the president of Hoshino Daiichi's astronomy club, Akito Surami. I believe I told you before, yes? But what was the special name bestowed to Hoshino Daiichi? Maya? Mia? It's Maya. The young man bears the seven names of the eldest of the seven sisters, Akito Surami of the Maya. Everyone made an ooh sound, and there was scattered clapping. What was with the weird atmosphere? So, um, what exactly does that mean anyway? Do you not know any of the Pleiades cluster? Yeah, that much I know. The Pleiades cluster was a beautiful star cluster that ruled the winter sky, beloved by the astronomy fans everywhere. The Japanese name was Subaru. Oh, look at the guy from ReZero! Let's go. Since it was used by the car manufacturer, lots of people knew the name. Oh, that dude! <laughs> The Pleiades Cluster had lots of other names, one of which was the Six Stars. I guess it got that name because when you look up at, with the naked- whenever you look up with the naked eye, it seems to be made up of six bright stars, but I don't know for sure. 
They say people with really good eyes can discover a seventh, eighth, or even more stars within it. Long ago, when the stars at night were brighter, there was apparently someone who was able to make out more than 20 distinct stars. I can see like 15 stars, true. Am I superhuman? Maybe, maybe? I see like a bunch of little tiny stars. I guess it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 main ones. I'm in punishment time? Oh, and my server, that's my AFK channel. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> yep, that's my AFK channel. Within the Pleiades cluster, the seventh brightest stars all bear the names of one of the beautiful- seven beautiful sin- wait, what? Seven beautiful sisters. The eldest is Maya, then Electra, Taiga, Alcon, Celan, Celano, Celano? Asterope and the youngest Merope. Before they turned into stars, these women were nymphs who served Artemis, goddess of the moon. Yeah. Crying emoji. I had known that the stars in the Pleiades cluster all had names, but I didn't know each name, nor where they had come from. And anyway, the term star cluster refers to a massive group of stars in, all in one place. In the Pleiades, the naked eye can make out six, or maybe even seven stars. However, with a telescope, you can see tons of stars all crowded together. Also, thank you for the follow, Patty. The stars were nymphos, what is this? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think she said they were nymphs. Which is like something else. It's like a young woman or something, not a nympho. <laughs> which is a nymphomaniac. <laughs> In the Pleiades, the naked eye can make out six or maybe even seven stars. However, with a telescope, you can see tons of stars all crowded together. In reality, it's a cloud of young stars gathered around a point in space about three, 443 light years away. Oh no, not another one. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. I meant, what do these seven sisters have to do with our school? Orihime had this, oh no, not again look on her face. You looking cute, Gin. <laughs> I mean, the Six Stars Club. Or we're the Six Stars Club, aren't we? The Six Stars is another name for the Pleiades Cluster, so of course it's natural for us to take each of the sisters' names, right? <laughs> I didn't really think it was all that natural. I mean, the numbers don't add up for one thing. Where was little Mero? Yeah, I see where you're coming from, Daiichi, but it's like a tradition, okay? The president from Nishihai said, her voice full of resignation. So, this was something the alumni decided, huh? They must have really enjoyed the whole thing. There's no way I'm going to remember all that. It's way too complicated. Why don't we just stop it? There's no need for concern. These are secret names, you see. There's rarely ever a need to use them. Is it just me? Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, <laughs> thank you for the subs! What the? Now I have enough to get a 30 vote. Now I have 25 subs. Thank you so much. Oh shit. What the? Fog champ? Ah! Here, okay, friends, join my Discord server if you're not in it. So you can get my emotes. But Jesus, thank you so much. Wiggums, oh my god. Ah, I really appreciate that. Ah! Oh, thank you. Okay, cool. Now I need to commission Rudy to draw me another Evo because now I can get another one. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks so much, though. I really appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, like, everybody has a sub. <laughs> That's so cool. Thank you so much, though. Oh. All the other members. Oh. <laughs> You're getting jib scared by it. Not everybody feels bad. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's actually unlucky. You literally lost your gift sub like five minutes after the stream started. That was really unlucky. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Seriously, I really appreciate that. All the other members besides Orihime seemed to relax at Honoka's words. Orihime looked like she actually wanted to use those names all the time. Sadly, Astro, I mean, the Saison Girls School was not able to join us today. Are they still even, like, active? Well, they do appear to have an astronomy club. Their current situation, however, is unclear. Saison's girls' school was a public all-girl high school, and their academic level was the highest in the area. <laughs> it was not an old school, predica 
<laughs> predating the Second World War and was known for its really rigid school traditions. It's unlikely that the students would be comfortable mingling unofficially with people from other schools. Orihime's announcement seemed to take the cheer out of everyone. This might be a little difficult to get out of. If I stood up and said I wasn't going to participate now, I wondered what kind of look they would give me. I decided to wait until the meeting finished and quietly let Orihime know. Excuse me, can I ask a question? The president from Moro, Moro Misawa raised up his hand. Darn. <laughs> Proceed. Apparently this is an unpopular opinion, but I think R. Kelly's music is still good even though he was a creep. I actually don't know R. Kelly music really. <laughs> Did he do anything like that I would know? Because like as everyone knows, my like music knowledge slash taste has been pretty much officially ruined by a rhythm game known as Osu, so <laughs> that's like literally all the music that I know now. <laughs> RNB, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> I heard that the goal was the goal of reviving the Six Stars Club is to revitalize the astronomy clubs at each school. Chin chin. Or he may nodded gracefully. Do you have a concrete plan as to how that will work? Good question. It's quite true that coming together and looking at the stars is basically what we already do. Or he may have a small smile to match her confident expression. Hanukkah. Honoka handed everyone a sheet of paper. It was a list of club members at every school and a summary of their equipment. Praise me to the Dark Lord of the Crows. <laughs> As you can see, the equipment we have that we have access to is not what anyone would call sufficient. It still hasn't changed my music taste, but it's made me made me able to withstand listening to a lot more music that I previously didn't like. Oh, did you not like like electronic music before then? Because, I don't know, like, I guess I liked it. Like, I pretty much always liked it. Like, whenever I was, like, 12 years old, I was mega into, like, you know, the dumpstep Skrillex thing, because that was what was popular at the time. <laughs> oh, like, anime music, okay. I, see, I was, like, mm, I was way into, like, anime way before playing Osu. So, whenever I found Osu, I was just like, oh, cool, this is all the music that I already like anyway. But now it's, like, literally all the music I listen to, so... That is weird that people listen to something that sounds like it was sung by a six-year-old. <laughs> I mean, not all of it sounds like that. There's like really good, like I think there's like legitimately good like Japanese music, like Yusei Takoku, Imperial Circus, Dun Decadence. Uh, I don't know, just stuff like that, I guess. As you can see, the equipment we have access to is not what anyone would call sufficient. On close study, it looked like the most expensive piece was Mako Academy's reflecting telescope. That's the minority. I mean, I know, but like, still. I, I guess you're talking about like the, you know, like the anime opening kind of thing. The aperture wasn't so great, but apparently it had an equatorial amount. Cory in the House theme song is the best song. Yep, Cory in the House, best anime. <laughs> Apart from that, Nishihai had a digital single lens re reflex camera with a wide angle lens for night sky photography that looked pretty expensive. Marami saw what was like our school. They only had beginner stuff, and then we came to Ama High, who didn't even have a telescope. Here at Mako Academy, there was a time when we didn't have a single member, and the club was closed down. During that time, a lot of equipment and fixtures went missing, and we still have a track them down. A terrible loss. I wondered if it had been thrown away, or put in some storage building, or maybe if someone had just taken it. Our club probably had a similar problem. So at this stage, even if all six schools got together, we couldn't really accomplish anything of note anyway. And so, I have a suggestion. I probably said this before, but the way I found Osu was when I googled things that would help for aim and see go. Really? I mean, okay, I've actually heard that from a lot of people before, but like, I feel like it doesn't help much with like, FPS games because the thing is, Osu is on a two-dimensional plane, and then every FPS is on a, yeah, it's on a three-dimensional plane. So, Actually, what's interesting though is if you play Mikosu, they can convert beatmaps into like a three-dimensional plane, so it might actually like help you with that if you play that mode. But once you start playing that mode, it really affects how you perform on a two-dimensional plane, so it just affects regular O's and doesn't actually help much at all. And so, I have a suggestion. Why don't we all put down some money and purchase a proper astronomical telescope? 
Like if someone, if somebody moves in the corner of the screen, OC will help you notice that faster. Really? I don't know. I'm really bad at FPS games, so I'm <laughs> I'm only okay at OC. I can't play any of those. So I guess it wouldn't have helped me with any of that. Orihime's proposal caused a bit of commotion. That telescope will become a symbol of the new Six Stars Club's hope and solidarity. That actually sounds pretty good. To tell the truth, if there weren't any real benefits like this, it wouldn't be worth joining. That might be true. We don't have a telescope at all, so I'd be really grateful if we could actually do this. While all the other school reps were busy reacting, I asked a question. About how much money are we talking? You're tired of blue? I, I saw pink and I thought it was somebody new in my chat. <laughs> Despite having no intention of joining, I wouldn't ask a silly question. I prepared a breakdown of the, of the cost in each school's contribution on page two. <laughs> Everyone turned the page and then recoiled in horror. What the hell is this? Is there a problem? I understood why everyone was so shocked. The prices written there weren't quite beyond went quite beyond everyone just chipping in a bit. Please, everyone relax. Are you okay with reading the news? Um, I mean, yeah. I don't do it too often because it's kind of depressing, but like, I mean, I don't really have a problem with reading it most of the time. Our school will cover the contribution from Seisen since they can't join. Yeah, that's not the problem here. I have to agree. It looked like Orihime genuinely didn't see what the problem was. The price they'd written was almost equal to a month full of months part-time wages. Purple girl's stance is like is like that pose girls make when you ask them if they can touch their elbows together. <laughs> oh. <laughs> For clubs like ours that were having issues with membership numbers, our budgets would never even come close to covering an expense like that. Of course, to buy a really good telescope, it would cost about that much. But we really, we really want to do more high-level activities, don't we? If so, then this is the price we have to pay. And to think of the future, and think of the future of students coming after us. Shouldn't we do everything within our power to leave them with only the best? We made no pricey telescope binoculars for all our motto, and so all of this is kind of well. Really, it's out of the question. Not a chance. If we had this kind of scratch, we could just buy a better lens for our cameras. This is ridiculous. How is this dude- wait, what? How is what dude muscular? The president from Nishi High stood up, waving the paper in disgust as she spoke. Sorry, but we're out. Guy in the back- oh, I didn't even notice, actually. It was just a matter of money. We can talk about it. Didn't they- oh, did they? I don't even remember. It looked like Narue was in no mood to listen anymore. Seriously, I don't think I can work under the direction of people who think this is a good way to start things off. If you guys ever want to have- want, if you guys ever want to have to go stargazing or something, that'd be cool. We can still be friends later. Wait, I think I read that wrong. If you guys ever want to have- have- wait, what? If you guys ever want to have go Stargazing or something? That'd be cool. We can still be friends. Okay. I think they wrote that wrong. <laughs> Morami's president stood up sadly. Please wait. This is necessary for advancing in the field of astronomy and for those who will follow us on the path of astronomy. If you're not happy with it, then at the very least, let us talk about it. <laughs> if this guy is muscular. Oh yeah, he's not very muscular. We're already happy with the way things have been going. Keisuke made his polite goodbyes and left. But... Two schools had already left, and we were only 30 minutes into the first meeting. Everyone was staring in silent shock, as if they couldn't understand what had happened. Left behind, I thought to myself. I waited way too long. I missed my chance to say I wasn't going to join. The sky is unlucky. <laughs> the sun and the moon traveled around the earth. And so entropy increases, the ultimate fate of the universe. Muttering under her breath, Orihime sat in the corner of the club room, hugging her knees and spinning in the spherical astrolable. She had been so enthusiastic, and now she was an empty shell. Please, Miss President, do cheer up. 
She's right. Look, there's still three schools left. I was certain. Uh, she was still counting my school. Hoshino Daiichi. Drain. <laughs> As I thought about this, I drank the aromatic tea and ate the can-dried can fruit Hanukkah had given me. I really enjoyed the sugary treats. Apparently, they had brought these from a really famous and expensive shop just for today's meeting. It was another sign of just how into all of this they were. Canned dried fruit. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they said it, they put it as like one word. I was about to read it as like candid or something, and, but then I was like, okay. Yeah, usually it'd be like can dash dried or can dried, like two separate words. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> oh, was it? Oh, was it candied fruit? I'm stupid. I misread that. <laughs> oh my god, why did I think it was can dried? It was way too late for me. Let's go. Is that even a thing, can dried? Probably not. This is all my fault. This is all this all happened because I don't know anything about the real world. What is this can dried fruit? Is that a toxin thing? It sounds like a toxin thing. It might be. Let me actually look. It actually is. Wait, no, it's not. Dried fruit's a thing for sure. I was just thinking like maybe I don't even know. Ah. But, yeah. I mean, maybe it's a thing somewhere. Probably not. This is all my fault. This all happened because I don't know anything about the real world. Yeah, there's like freeze-dried fruits. <laughs> she put it kind of harshly, but I felt like Naroi had a point. Dried fruits. Yeah, it does. I don't really like them too much. Yeah, then you can put them in can and they're canned dried fruits. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> what What is a candied fruit, though? I've never even heard of these. Oh. Okay, those are stupid, though. <laughs> Who doesn't like dried mangoes? Um, I used to like them, but I don't know. I just, I don't like them too much anymore for some reason. Got toes on standby. Nice, nice. Which should have made it kind of weird that I hadn't left when she did. Left when she did, except that I felt this weird kind of power coming from Orihime. I guess you could say she made me feel hopeful. We only met twice, so I couldn't really say I knew her well enough, but I couldn't deny her when she said she didn't know about the real world. What should we do about stargazing tonight? Observation meet. Orihime repeated the phrase as if she had just remembered something. They'd plan an observation meeting, an observation meet, a chance to look at the skies just to hang out for the evening. Last time I ate dried mangoes <laughs> was when I drank way too much without eating and my friend forced fed them to me because you probably don't like to eat them anymore. And so you get like taste aversions to things. I simply can't bear the thought. Monica nodded like she'd known before she asked. You love them still? Really? Like, I don't know, if I get sick after eating something? <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're trolling. <laughs> Nuriko from Amahai looked disappointed when she saw that. Um, she opened her mouth as if to say something, but nothing came out. Amahai's astronomy club had only one member, just like Daiichi's. I bet she'd really been looking forward to tonight's meetup. We'd have to reschedule tonight's activity. It doesn't look like we'll have time for it today. No, we should still do it. I said, interrupting Honoka. Everyone looked at me, surprised. But... I mean, we're already gathered together like this, and, well, the stars are only visible tonight, right? Akito? Do you not like foods whenever you have a bad experience with them or something? I mean, like, the thing is, I guess, this is like a biological thing, or like a, I guess, psychological thing, too, but basically, like, whenever you have, like, a negative experience with something, like, I guess anything related to your senses, like, your mind, I guess, sometimes, it creates, like, a connection between that sense and, like, a negative event. So then you get, like, taste aversions, like, what they call them. Like, for a long time, I couldn't eat, like, soy sauce because I got sick after eating something with, like, soy sauce on it. And then, like, literally, like, that happened years ago and it took me a really long time to be able to eat, like, soy sauce again. 
and like it was so weird because I liked it just fine before that but after that I was just like I really don't wanna <laughs> you know soy boy <laughs> yeah sure you too Nairue or he may wipe the tears from the corners of her eyes oh you're absolutely right it would be unthinkable for us to gather like this and not watch the stars yay Honoka begin preparations certainly miss president Orihime had regained her enthusiasm, and the group began their stargazing preparations. Forcing a smile on my face, I thought to myself, Oh boy, now you've done it. I had that one Jaeger night. I can't ever drink Jaeger again, but you you wouldn't know you're only 15. <laughs> Me? <laughs> I'm, I'm almost 20. I don't know if... I don't know... If I ever feel like that, I just think of it super logically, and after enjoying it once again, I'm like, once again, I'm fine with it. So I just don't feel like that. I mean, I guess. Like, people are different, obviously, but that's like a common thing for sure. Like, you know, having like a negative association with something. Oh boy, now you've done it. Now it would be even harder to quit. Tell the truth, this is my first time stargazing. That's why I was really looking forward to it. The only food I have an aversion to is lychee. I've actually never had lychee, I don't think at least. Oh, well yeah, I mean if you're allergic to it, then that's like good that you have like an aversion to it. Oh, you mean you've never done it at your club? Well, I don't, we don't have a telescope, you know, and the older students didn't really know much about astronomy. And since they've all left the club, I've been on my own. She said this haltingly, like thinking back on all these lonely days of solitary club activities. But a smile rose on her lips. Done it at the club. <laughs> so when I heard about the Six Stars Club, I was so happy and I wanted to join right away. Oh, I see. I think I know how you feel. Once the president leaves, I'll be on my own here too. Don't you have any other members? Well, yes, but they only show up for big events, like eclipses. Oh, really? Or he may listen to their conversation with complicated with a complicated expression on her face, then turned to me and nodded. Thank you for earlier. Mm -hmm. If you hadn't said anything, we would have just gone home. Oh, um, I didn't do anything. I felt a bitter smile arise. I'd only come to tell them I wasn't joining, but just when I should should have said so, I ended up encouraging the meetup. I was shocked at my own contradictory behavior. Make your best complicated expression, like, like confused. I don't really know. <laughs> like, what would that, what would that even look like? <laughs> I wanted to revive the Six Stars Club for people like Noriko to help them enjoy astronomy. And last time, someone told me to make an expression, they took a screenshot of my face cam, and I was like, no. <laughs> I was so caught up in my own worthlessness, I had almost lost sight of that, and that would be truly bad. Just as Norway said. Come on now. That's not true. Don't you need to take all of this on yourself, or he may? If she hadn't called out to us, this meeting never would have happened. I had to admire that kind of enthusiasm that can persuade people from all these different schools to come and meet after years of silence. And now, here I am, apparently getting ready to join them in stargazing. Me, the astronomer who never looks at the stars. Anyway. I've already taken the night off of work. I kept mixing up when you go from talking to chat and reading the end. I was like, wait, why is she talking about feeling worthless? No! <laughs> I'm talking about, I'm reading the end. <laughs> I should like come up with a voice for whenever I read this. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm never like deep on stream really. Like, I guess the most like deep we get <laughs> the other day whenever we were talking about like philosophy or something that was pretty interesting but other than that i don't like go emo mode on stream too much i had no idea where, the where they were planning to go stargazing but as the only guy i took on the responsibilities of carrying heavy things and watching over the girls emo mode is fun is it <laughs> okay like i'll go half we emo mode with you guys but like whenever i'm streaming i'm not gonna go like full on emo <laughs> Is it the next stop? Oh, yes, that's right. Noriko checked on her smartphone, then pushed the bus stop signal. The next stop. 
life is pointless. So let's discuss. Um, it depends on what your perspective is. I guess it's pointless if you like, mm, if you don't come up with a reason for existing, or if you don't believe in religion or whatever. Then it's probably pretty pointless for you. But if you like, oh emo joke. <laughs> I was actually about to go emo mode. Or like at least talk about it. The bus stopped in front of Mikazuki Station, meaning, of course, right in front of the stop and buy. Kotaru noticed me immediately as I got off the bus and raised his head, ears twitching. This has a bunch of, like, typos. Ah! Like, see, Kotaru noticed me immediate as I got off the bus and raised his head, ears twitching. But more and more strangers got off the bus. He squirmed into his doghouse and hid. Are we taking the train from here? What's this? No, it's this way. With her phone in one hand, Mariko took the lead. I wondered why she was guiding. I didn't really understand, but since Orihime seemed happy to follow her lead, I went along after. Are you sure this is the right way? Yeah, it says the perfect spot to see the stars is straight ahead. This way. With Noriko out in front, we walked down a country road past a few scattered houses, and, a s and soon a large bridge-like structure appeared. It was an enormous concrete wall holding back the river, holding back the river, the dam. It looks like we cross over here, she said, checking her smartphone map. Or her, her smartphone map? Okay, yeah. We crossed over the walkway on top of the dam. So this is Hoshino Dam. It's huge. Or he may said in an astonished voice. For a dam, it, was pr it probably wasn't that big. But when seen from up close like this, it felt it really felt like something. Is something the matter? Oh, not really. It just brings back some old memories. There used to be a bridge over there. I said while pointing to a spot down river. A bridge? Yeah. She seemed to be waiting for for more about the bridge. I just didn't want I didn't want to explain any further, and she just looked puzzled. Pretending not to notice her gaze, I looked out over the lake, formed by the dam. Orange stars were reflected off the deep blue surface of the water. Ah, uh, give please, give please. For twenty dollars I'll sell you my busted up Turtle Beach headset I had when I played in W3. <laughs> and no, dude, I have like um I guess I mean I have like a Corsair headset for PC gaming and then for everything else I use like Sennheisers, which are pretty good. Orange stars were reflected off the deep blue surface of the water. I didn't want to admit it, but it was a beautiful sight. You played no no no, I never played COD on PC. I oh, okay, so whenever I was a COD gamer, I had like one of the shitty like you know, the headsets where it had only like one thing and you have like the mic. <laughs> yep. So I played it on PlayStation. So yep. Cause that's what like everyone from my school played COD on. So, you know, I played it on PlayStation with them. How do you sound for then? What does that mean? <laughs> I, I like used the little like mic thing. Like I, I still had voice like you know, like I talked in voice with them. But it was just like with the shitty thing that was like, you know, you like listen to the game audio, like for their speakers and then you have like the voices and another thing. I used to play Halo with my Russian broski. Oh, oh okay. I mean, no, we didn't do that. <laughs> I mean, you can hear that through the speakers and stuff. I played Jenga every Tuesday. I have not played Jenga in a long time. <laughs> That's more of like a party activity, which, uh, haven't been doing much in a long time. <laughs> Pro Jenga player, I mean. It's pretty hard, I guess. Mikazuki Village, the village where we had spent our childhood. I guess it's only a home for fish now. <laughs> My friends were so into MW3. <laughs> MW3 was the best one, though, like, unironically. My friend says MW2, but I don't know. I just got, like, really into MW3. Oh, I was no good at that game. I was like 12 years old and I like literally only played it with my friends and stuff like very casually, but we played a lot actually. On the other side of the dam, the road started to climb the mountainsides. 
We continued a while down the rough, broken asphalt before Norika spoke again. Um, this way, I think. We turned away from the old road and started down a trackless path. Trackless path. Yeah, I... Okay, see, like, I mainly just play on my computer now, but I have, like, a Switch, so... Like, because there's, like, exclusives on there, but, like, for COD and stuff like that, I don't see any reason to play it on, like, you know... PlayStation or like Xbox now whenever it's completely fine on the PC. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, no, I wasn't that into it, but we played it a lot. I mean, it was just like something I did with like other like guys from my school, I guess, at the time. It was like a cool way to make friends, I guess. This is it. Noriko had led us to a wide open space on the nor on the side of a small on the side of a small mountain. There were no large trees here, and the world spread out for us before. Spread out before us. Oh my god. Orhime looked around, her eyes sparkling with excitement, even though she should have been exhausted from the walk up. <laughs> what a great spot. The sky is wide open, and there's hardly any light pollution to get in the way. And from that side, you can see all the way to the Far Mountains. Yeah, probably. Honestly. Oh, do you like it? I'm so happy to hear that. Her big job completed successfully. Noriko breathed a sigh of relief. <laughs> Unbelievable, this is the place. I muttered knowingly, a wry s I muttered unknowingly, a wry smile a wry smile on my face. I'd been here before. It was just- it was located just outside Mikazuki Village. We used to come here all the time to see the stars. It was hard to get to, but I was certain there was no better place in all of Hoshinonaka City to observe the night sky. And it hardly changed at all in four years. It was full of memories, but for me, who had given up stargazing, it was also painful. Okay everyone, let's all set up before it gets dark. One person rising, blasting god awful music. Oh my god, I actually, yeah, that was a thing <laughs> for PlayStation community as well. At Orihime's urging, everyone set down their luggage and got ready for the stargazing meetup. Probably in the stream in like mm, 10 minutes or so, like after it gets to 3 hours. Cause it is like 4 30 a.m. <laughs> Hannah Montana. <laughs> oh my god, I haven't thought about that in forever. I actually never really watched that whenever I was a kid. old story. That dog can never finish a whole trick. He's a clever idiot. Oh, good uh, good evening, Miss Miharu. Good evening. So I guess he's off to some astronomy club gathering or something. Thanks to him, I'm on shop duty, which sucks. I got to level 300 on Candy Crush, my guy. Damn. <laughs> I've actually never played that game either. <laughs> What's this stargazing meetup anyway? Is he actually looking at the stars again? Not really, I guess. He said he's going to refuse. Is that so? So what are you doing here? I thought I'd come play with Koti a little. Oh, I get it. You're wondering what he's up to. You couldn't relax at home and figured you'd wait for him here, right? Aw, oh, she's turning red. I think the most like into any mobile game I've ever been is like Love Live School Idol Festival. For sure, that was an easy way to waste like $400 when I was in high school. <laughs> oh my god. What mobile games do you guys play now? Like, none anymore. I mean, I still have like, oh shit. I still have Love Live like downloaded, but I haven't touched that in like forever. Like, let me see, what games do I have installed anyway? I have Voez, Azerlane. Eight ball pool, which okay, that that's a stupid game that you just play like an iMessage with other people. <laughs> and 
and I have a quiz up, which was actually a fun game for a while. Yeah, I'm a gamer boy, but I play mobile only. Yeah, same. No, like, actually. <laughs> no, it is a stupid game, dude. Every time someone sends me an invite to play 8-ball pool, I'm like, bro. 1v1 me in 8-ball pool, actually? <laughs> Do you have an iMessage? I love the game called Carpet Bombing Simulator. <laughs> How sweet. Oh, to be young again. Huh? But you're still young, Miss Miharu. You should be nicer to yourself. Come here a minute. You get the temple torture for that. <laughs> I only play Space Pinball for Windows XP. Dude, I actually remember playing that. <laughs> that game was... I don't know. That's a throwback. I'll beat y'all in some goddamn Dance Dance Revolution. I used to play a lot of DDR on uh, PS2 back in the day. DDR Max 2, but I was never like really good at it because I was like a kid. And then I never like actually thought of it as a game. I was just like basically trolling. You're probably too young to understand. Once a woman gets to be around 30, there are things you just don't mention. In particular, you should be careful around unemployed 30-ish people. We may look rough, but inside we are as sensitive as any teenage girl. <laughs> I'll be you in a fun, fun shooting. <laughs> hmm. See, I never really have like time to waste on like a commute because I just like drive to school every day. Half-Life 3 is the best. Oh man. You know that like they actually wrote a script for Half-Life 3 that got like released not too long ago? I think couple years ago maybe so basically like I think we know what would have happened if I recall correctly it was something like that but I mean yeah obviously they're like never gonna make it so that's unlucky sorry I tortured you here let me pet it and make it better if you're playing at least two games simultaneously while driving you're doing it wrong <laughs> oh man yeah I wish that were true but seriously you're so cute it worries me especially with bad boys like him you know, Akito Soka is stargazing. Oh, really? But don't people always call him the astronomer who never looks at the stars or something? Sometimes, when he gets the urge to look up at the night sky, he goes up to the mountain alone. Now that you mention it, for all his I never look at the stars talk, he is in the astronomy club, but he doesn't actually seem to enjoy it. Even after he goes up on the mountain, he still won't really talk about astronomy. <laughs> episodes isn't that the shitty game that like is advertised on like I don't even know I think it's advertised on like snapchat and stuff <laughs> I'm pretty sure Akita is an open book it's easy to tell with him oh and what about you coming here and waiting so patiently what is it you want I want Aki to look at the stars again, like we used to, like the time when we looked at Albiro together. But I don't think it'll have anything to do with me. I don't think that's true. I'm sure that any boy his age would do anything a cute girl like you asked him to. She'd say, if you take me to nationals, I'll kiss you or something. Go on, give it a try. Uh, if I take- if you take me to nationals, I'll kiss you. I'm so jealous of your cute innocence. This is so embarrassing. In school runscape, there's a mode called Hardcore Iron Man where if you die in the game, you lose your count so one person was like, I'm gonna do a hardcore mobile man where I play while driving until I die IRL. I hope that was trolling. I'm sure it was. Well, anyway, it'd be nice if this meetup tonight gave him an excuse to go stargazing again. Yeah. By the time we'd gotten Mako Academy's astronomical telescope all set up, the world around us had fallen into complete darkness. Unfortunately, there's a full moon tonight. It's not the best condition for observation. How do you play old school RuneScape while driving? <laughs> The only thing I've ever done really while driving is like, I guess, texting and driving? 
changing music and music discord. <laughs> There's a mobile version? Okay, I did not know that. The moon is really quite bright. On a clear night, you can read by the light of a full moon. That bright light washes out the fainter light of the stars. I see. I guess that shows how little I know. Don't worry about it. At least it's a clear night. <laughs> if we continued working together in the Six Stars Club, we'd eventually have perfect nights for observations too. But there were only three schools left, and if I dropped out, that would leave two. That might make things a little difficult. May I look through the telescope? Of course. What would you like to see? Hmm. What's something particular to the autumn night sky? We all looked up, pondering the sky. The autumn sky is considered the most boring of the four seasons, with few particularly bright bodies. Well, since we're out here, let's find something flashy. A binary star or a nebula? There's an Andromeda meta galaxy. <laughs> Can we see your stuffed toy collection? Oh my god, I actually can show y'all some. Like, I'll show y'all the ones at my desk, I guess. <laughs> and then after that, I'll probably end the stream or whatever. Now you just have to come lurk the stream every day. <laughs> like, okay, so on my desk, this is my Kirby doll that my friend Darson got me whenever, um, like, so he's, like, in the Texas gamer group that I'm in. Like, the Texas Osu gamer group, I guess. And we all meet up in, like, Austin sometimes. And we went to, like, this, um, it was, like, a video game store, I guess. Um, at a mall in Austin. He got that for me there. Um, this is an alpaca doll that another one of my friends got me, like, a long time ago. Like, back when I was in high school. It's pretty cute. He has, like, a cowboy hat. It's pretty cute. Uh, let's see. Here's another alpaca doll, like, on top of my desk. My friend, uh, Joe, or, you know, also known as Piggles, or Quanhitter37 on Osu, he bought this for me, like, Last summer, I think. Um, yeah, I don't know. No flame, but why does your gamer group sound so dumb? <laughs> what makes them dumb? They're so cool. Uh, ah, there's like so much stuff on top of my desk. I think, okay, so this is another thing. This is like a Hello Kitty that one of my friends won for me at round one in like, oh, it was over the summer whenever we had like the, oh, shut. <laughs> I, I hit that. Ah! Okay. My game's fucked up now. I think I hit, like, insert or something. Oh my god, it literally crashed. <laughs> okay, but whatever. Anyway. Guess I need to end the stream anyway. But, yeah. Not sure what's going on right now. Oh, just the name Gamer Group sounds dumb. <laughs> but what? Why does that sound dumb? That's literally what it is, though. Um, okay. I don't know what's going on with my game right now. Literally died. But, yeah, pretty good. Okay. Yep. <laughs> eh. That's fine. I mean, I know where I am, basically, and it's not like we made any decisions, so I can literally just control my way to there next time. So, yeah. I guess now that I've shown y'all my, like, doll collection at my desk, I'm gonna go ahead and in the stream. I'll find someone to host and if I can't then y'all can like tell me who I should host. Oh wait, Young's streaming. Okay. I'm gonna host Young. Okay, uh, Gian Bros, thanks for like all the subs and stuff. That was like super nice. Thanks for hanging out with me the whole time. I'm always afraid that like my VN streams are gonna be like boring or whatever, but this actually was pretty fun. So I'll try to do this again sometime and yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out, bros. Go watch my friend Yaun, he's really good at Osu.